Uh, we like. Uh, we like. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where I should probably get something set up already. Zaxxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I might just set up something semi-automatic to supply robots to build those names. Uh, a thousand or two characters worth should do. Because I don't want to do a whole rail drop-off just for that. Down we go. And back to the mall. Razor K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I basically want to set up this. That should be way more than enough. Um, I just need to bring a bunch of glass. Everything else I'll have on me by default. Uh, let's see. Where is glass? It's supposed to be in here. What the hell? We've got 8.9k glass and none of it is in the glass filtered storage chest. Um, okay, so where is it? Here's some. That's not a whole lot fitting in my inventory. Um, drop all this off for the moment. Burgers and fries, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Thank you so much for the raid one minute into the stream. Um, what was I doing? Getting glass. That should be enough to keep going for a good long while. Dang, it's only like one minute in. Indeed it is. Good way to start. Um, let's throw down... Oh, wait, now I have no room for this. And Horizon Effect, thank you very much for the resub. 15 months, wow, I didn't even realize I'd been doing it this long. Really, really appreciate that, Horizon, thank you. Great timing, indeed. Adjiga, Ad welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, plans for the stream tonight? Basically just continue what we were doing. Um, add resources one by one to be taken up by train instead of by cargo rocket, which we've disabled. Um... We should get Pylon substation researched without any further action. Um, it'll take a little while, though. And... Uh, let's see. Let's just do it like this. Uh, chest and passive provider. And glass goes in here. It's actually quite slow. But it's way faster than we need it to be. Um, and we put in some construction bots. And there's our names in base uh, that we can do remotely for the space elevator. Play the video game, indeed. I'm out though. Take care, burgers. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good one. Alright, uh, so... We were in the middle of adding a bunch of... We've already got eight resources being brought up by um, by Space Elevator. Weirdly enough, I only see six trains here. That probably means a couple of them are still making the rounds. Uh, we can actually see which ones by process of elimination. We've got all three circuits, Heat Shield, LDS, Crynite Rod... Vulcanite block, that doesn't surprise me at all. That's going to take a while to saturate. Uh, actually, it's like one more train. So two more train trips, and we'll have some Vulcanite blocks in here, and 
a vulcanite train sitting up here somewhere. Uh, what else? Uh, I think there's electronic components. That's actually already saturated. But I would have thought electronic components train would be camping up here. Are they downstairs? No? Um... Thought I understood how this worked. Oh, here we go. Uh, is this the one where I tried the experiment to say... No? We're definitely outputting train limit 1. Destination full. It's trying to go to... Electronic component pickup. It's physically here, but it's not picking anything up. I think it's because... So this is the LTN train trying to pick up electronic components. The train limit is 1, and this train was already on the way. And I think what happened here is we had a... Because of station name ambiguity, we had a temporary stop um, that was placed exactly where this train is, and then the next stop is go to this station to pick this stuff up. I figured out how I could do it without adding any more combinators. We could just output input count of the type of thing and set train limit to that type of thing, which is going to be a very large number, but I don't care. So if there's more than 8k, output train limit practically infinity. And we'll have to make that change for potentially... I mean, what we should do is make that change for all of the stations that we've set up this way. Which is going to be a minor slog, but not that hard, actually. So that is red, green, and blue circuits. There's only one blue circuit... Green limit, green circuit. We can copy paste this one over here. A red circuit. I think there's two stations for that. Oh, wait, did I set it to output input count? I did. Alright, so red circuits, input count, train limit, red circuits. Fantastic. Copy-paste that. Bring it down here. Uh, so that's red, green, and blue circuits updated. Electronic components updated. Uh, we've got eight to go. Heat shield. LDS. Make sure it's set to input count. And LDS again. Over here. Fantastic. I don't love the train limit constantly changing. I imagine that costs a bit more UPS maybe. But it's that or go around adding a constant combinator everywhere. To set it to an arbitrary L value. Um, this is functionality that I think should be built into the output of the decider combinator, frankly. Output a specific, uh, like instead of output one right here, they should just have output some constant that you can type in. Um, what else? Let's look upstairs. We've done this set up the top, we've done heat shield LDS, we need cryonite rod and vulcanite block. Vulcanite block. And then we can just copy paste that here. Fantastic. Uh, huh. I 
If Vulcanite blocked greater than 24k train limit. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how we ended up... No, it makes perfect sense when it comes to electronic components, because we had so many here. It makes sense that we had a LTN train picking up before the vanilla train. But Vulcanite blocks uh, we're bottlenecking on, or at least taking a long time to saturate. I don't think we're actually bottlenecking on them anymore these days. Um, so I'm not sure how the vanilla train got here. Uh, 24k. Stack size 200. 200 times 80 is 16,000. This is a train and a half. There has to be 1.5 train loads of vulcanite blocks here before the train limit is greater than zero. So I'm not exactly sure how Vanilla Train got here to pick up less than a load of Vulcanite blocks. Seems a little odd. Sounds good, I'll start drinking and order a pizza then. Nice. I could go for a pizza. Uh, and we need to do Cryonite Rods, which... I think there's actually only one pickup for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is way bigger than we need for quite a long time. For Cryonite Rods. I should go give it some prod modules. Actually... Aren't we literally get, getting all of our Cryonite from Core Fragment Processing and we've got way more than enough? Still? Uh, it couldn't hurt to get ahead. Let's grab some prod modules. I know I left some here. Prod threes, which we're not having trouble with these days. There's actually four chests with prods in them. Why? Why is it not showing where they are? There we go. Oh, that's a lot. That'll be more than we need to fill this out. It's going to change the ratio, though. Actually, what I should check is the rate after this. We can get four cryonite rods per second for half a block. And that becomes 1.12. Uh, also, the ratio was probably... This is way oversupplied now. Yeah, it is. Whatever. I'm not going to go to too much trouble right at this moment. Um, I'd just like to see if we could get this saturated all the time, as long as we still keep up with consumption of cryonite rods. Although, come to think of it, isn't cryonite kind of a sink? Uh, I mean, we need a cryonite sink. Yeah, because we're getting it from... It's cryonite powder. Wait, what is the... I don't remember how I built this. Cryonite powder gets dropped off here. Okay. So if this gets saturated, we will be... starting to delete cryonite powder. How far are we from beacons? Wide area beacons. We actually already have the science type. It's just going to be kind of a long wait. I'm definitely glad I did a spaghetti build for Energy 2. That's got a lot of quality of life stuff behind it that's not too expensive. Okay. Uh, anyway, I got distracted from the reason I was coming here, which is to say... Friday Night Rod... Output, input count, and set train limit to that. So as long as there's enough crinite rods for a train load and a half, uh, train limit here is functionally infinite. But we won't call an LTN train until there's two train loads. 
Seems good. Now we need to start adding some more resources. Uh, I believe we were in the middle of building this out over here. Uh, I need to bring the construction train. Oh, there we go. Seven resources here now. There's our cryonite rods. So it's only vulcanite blocks that aren't totally saturated here yet. Um, let's see. Construction train. Do you have scaffolding? Oh, I remember this. It, it's not putting in the scaffolding because we don't have the other stuff. I need to do a whole lot of configuring of uh, the auto crafter over here. All right, what are we trying to put in? Large storage tank. Let's do that. And no doubt there'll be some prerequisites that we suddenly need to add. Um, what goes into a large storage tank? Steel pipe, steel plate, steel beam. I'm pretty sure it's just plate that's already in here. Let's put pipe and beam. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'll want to put all the other... The other types of chests aren't prerequisites, are they? Well, these ones are. Let me just allow one stack of each of these. Um, and I need to do that over here as well. Couple of stacks, maximum. Wait, what does that stack to? 30. And 20. Uh, and then we want... Steel pipe, one stack, maybe I could go more than that for some of these things, but for the sake of setting it up, it's fine. Steel pipe only stacks to 50 for some reason. Uh, what was the other one? Steel beam. Um, I could prod these and bring them up by train. But for now, this is fine, I guess. Um, stack size 100. Steel beam. 100. How many things does steel beam go into? Like, a consistent throughput for science. For anything that we do in space. It looks like it's mostly mole stuff. Not constant throughput things. I'd definitely be making that on the ground. Yoba, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Railgun turret. Pump Tesla coil. A rail, of course. Okay, so there's pretty much nothing really high consistent throughput uh, that Steel Bean goes into. I don't think I'm going to bother building a block for those and prod moduling them. Um, steel pipe we'll need here. Make it on the spot. Put the prereqs on the same one as what they go into. Oh, it's 50 for one stack of steel pipe, isn't it? Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, t hacks and friends. Hello to you. And there we go, making steel pipe. Uh, we're not bringing in nearly enough steel plate with uh, 
with these two robot networks connected and only like 50 Logibots because the rest of them died. Um, I might just give it a hand temporarily, but ultimately I'll get it set up so that we bring up ingots with a train and break them down at the mall. But right now I want to get everything... Uh... Right now I just want to get everything sorted so we can keep building. Okay, steel plate. Oh wow, we're bottlenecking. Uh... Got a few speed modules. Have some speed twos. We're actually bottlenecking on turning the steel ingots into steel plate. I thought it would be the bots that were the issue here. Uh, well then maybe this would make a pretty big difference. For the moment. Uh, in any case, I'll go deliver these. There we go. That should help. It's so quick you can't really even see it. You just see the, the little twitch over here as the inserters take steel, take pipe out, and put pipe in here. Alright. That'll do for the moment. Um, and then? What's it going to be trying to put through after that? Huge storage tanks. I think they mostly need the same thing. I love how easily I can come up here now. It's almost like just... It's almost as easy as just moving around on one surface. Uh, it is literally the same stuff, only more of it for huge storage tanks. Now it's bottlenecked on fast inserter. Oh, it is too. That's a pretty good bottleneck. Nice. And I'm just going to grab some of this and shove it in here. Since we're obviously going to bottleneck on the bots after that. Uh, what else? Steel pumps. Probably need the same stuff. Plus multi-cylinder engine. We already have multi-cylinder engine in here. No, but we can request it. Uh, let's put it on this row. And make sure we allow it. Oh, we do already allow it. Did I miss it somewhere? Yeah, I just forgot to put the request there, like, earlier on. Alright, so I'll put steel pump in with the same combinator fluid things that require a lot of steel. And then... Um... That's pretty much it. Oh, there's, uh... Delivery cannon chests, I guess. Heat shield radar. I'm sure we have plenty of heat shield. Do we request it here? We do. And we just need to make some radars. Just the bare minimum, please. What goes into a radar? Automation core, stone brick. Got stone brick. 
Uh, we have like 20 automation cores in this robot network, which suggests to me it's not automated. I might just make those on the spot for the same reason that I'm not worrying about prod modules for uh, steel beams. Just a handful of automation cores, please. And we need to allow them here. Up to a stack. Or even two. And then... And then what? Whoops. What was I making the radar for? Uh, I actually can't remember. What are we trying to put? Oh yeah, yeah, delivery cannon chest. Which we're only making because it's a 3x3 chest. For the most part. Delivery cannon chest. Um, I need to allow some radars. And delivery cannon chest. How are we hearing the engineer's footsteps if they are supposedly in space right now? Um, raisins? Oh wow, we really aren't keeping up with the bots. But it's going to be that much more of a pain to resupply all of this. I don't want to go to the trouble of... Uh, I don't particularly want to go to the trouble of supplying everything for the spaghetti. As well as the mall. We should be spending that time building out the proper base instead. I think it's okay to tolerate this being a little slower. Except, at the moment, it's kind of slowing down our building of base. We'll just work around that a little bit. Refurbish recipe? Oh yeah, we'll get to that. Uvin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've only got 440 destroyed logistic bots. Uh, I wonder what the rate of attrition is going to be like overall after we uh, refurbish them. Where is that recipe anyway? Is it actually called refurbish? No. Uh, logistic robot. We need flying robot frame, repair pack. Do we have flying robot frames here for some reason? Um, I'm pretty sure flying robot frames. Have I not made those in the robot network? Uh, in the rail network? I'm guessing no, because... Uh, I think I remember it's different compared to... SE, the, the version I was playing last time. I think flying robot frames don't go into science at scale. So I couldn't be bothered prod mudding them at first. Uh, let's see, left click. Uh, no, right click. Uh, it goes into robot, 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 and nothing else. And I'll just check that construction bot or logistic bot doesn't go into something. Nope. 
So apart from the fact that we might have enough robots for robot attrition to be a thing. What does it take to make a flying robot frame? Battery, bone and steel plate, big electric. Uh, we've got all of those. I think I'll do a temporary little build down here. Flying robot frame. And... Repair... We can recombine them at a rate of 4 to 1 with a repair pack. Or we can refurbish... So it costs a flying robot frame. It costs one advanced circuit, one repair pack, and 75% of a flying robot frame to get a Logibot pack. This takes two advanced circuit, one flying robot frame. This is 0.75, one, and a repair pack. And this is just four destroyed ones, which is kind of hard to compare. I think I like the idea of repairing the existing ones better. So, flying robot frame. Not going to worry about the prod bonuses for this, uh, this time. So basically a new bot, yeah. We're breathing, breathing life into an old bot. On logistic storage, yes, we have all of these things. And I think we need repair packs as well. Uh, I should make repair packs here. Except they're way down the request list. Well, this one's empty right now. It doesn't look like we're going to have a problem with that. Air pack. And it takes stone, iron plate, copper plate. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be an issue. In fact, everything except for stone is already in here. Okay, so it'll cost us some resources to get a bot back in action, but if we actually never resupplied logistic bots themselves up here, or we never built new ones, we could still keep the same set of bots. Uh, and we do, of course, need to put them back into the system. Actually, it would be easier if this was a double chest. Yoba, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're inside the helmet. So probably no bot sounds, bit every, but everything else should be able to hear. Well, if you have physical contact with the thing, yeah, you'd literally be able to feel it. And empty that. Shift C. Uh, and this can be whitelist, flying robot frame. Um, probably. Don't bother if this 
If this one has any flying robot frames, don't bother putting this in. Seems good. And our logistic bot count increases. That'll help a little bit. Are we still putting anything in here? Delivery cannon chests. Uh, we actually just need one more. Apparently I don't have a radar. Oh wow, that's a lot of handcrafting. More than I expected, anyway. Are we not requesting a radar here? I guess not. We've got 23. Yeah, I need to put a request in. There you go. And automation cores. Did I request those? I did. Alright. Fantastic. Shouldn't... We have 50 deliver. Oh, they came to me. No, I didn't have my personal logistics up. Uh, and apparently we need combinators. What goes into combinators? Uh, wire. Copper cable and circuits, that's all. We've already got a request for copper cable here somewhere. And circuits. So we can literally just... Put this over here. And I'm sure we'll need some lights at some point. Um, crafting combinator, recipe combinator, and I guess power switch and programmable speaker, why not? Anyway, uh, we got our scaffolding placed into our train. Let's go pay this block a visit at last. And then we can place down our blueprint properly. Eighteen percent on Pylon substation. I believe it has moved forward a little bit. Energy. Uh, energy. Energy Science Pack 2. The last time we got some was 42 minutes ago. These are getting further apart. We kind of expected that, but still. We're missing Broad Catalog, which is missing Force Field Data, which is missing Electromagnetic Field Data, which is often a problem. Do we not have... We've got 42k rare metals, and this is only requesting three at a time, and we're bottlenecking on the rare metals, so it's actually just the bots bringing this over. Even though this doesn't consume the rare metals all that quickly. 1.3 per second. That actually makes complete sense that it gradually, that it was getting slower because we, we had fewer bots. Not for much longer. Did we not build this? Apparently I didn't bring enough scaffolding in the train itself. I'm a little surprised. 
Okay. Let's grab our blueprint. For solids storage. Wait, was that the wrong one? I don't know if I made a space one. I did make a space one. There we go. Uh, apparently the space one is still looking for wind turbines. Whoops. Fantastic. Give me some flat solars. I guess we're not carrying flat solars. Um, apparently our blueprint is missing the space loaders. as well. And here. And here. That should be all good, despite the weird copy-paste. Uh, this slot goes this way. And this one goes here. Do we have enough loaders? We do not. Why are there destroyed logic bots in the train? We'll never know. I think I can guess though. Alright, what's the next most important resource to bring? What is... Some little robot that could is on a long journey. Oh, it's probably... I bet it belongs to the train. Nope. Yes. I was going to say it would have turned around. It did turn around. Poor little guy. Anyway. Uh, let's see what resource we should bring up next. I'm thinking rail, maybe? I kind of want to do different things that go together. Let's do sulfur and imasite crystal. They sort of look similar. Turn this off so that I can copy paste this name and then change it without the vanilla train instantly pouncing. This is going to be sulfur, and this one's going to be imasite crystals. Is there a reason to bring up imasite in other forms? I mean, I'm sure there is. Probably not in the powder form or raw form. Oh, no, that lots of different resources can be used for this. This is just converting excess stuff into particle stream, basically. I can't see myself bothering with this, to be honest. Uh, turning it into matter, maybe. Can the matter plant go on the ground? Well, that's a problem for later. Um, I'm sure Imasite... Where is it? It's called something else. Some kind of refined Imasite plate. Here it is. Uh, Immersium plate. I'm sure that goes into a thing or two. Up in space. Intergalactic transceiver. Superior filter inserter. Alright, let's start from the top. So it goes into beam. This will happen on the ground. It goes into gear. This will happen on the ground. Uh, optimization, so that's a definite yes. We already did send it up, actually, I forgot. Uh, 
Um, and I presume... Well, I don't really need any more information. Uh, we can only make these in space, and we're going to be making them at scale, so we should absolutely prod these on the ground. Uh, what about the beams and gear wheels? I'm guessing... yes. Yeah, probably. Alright. To kind of future-proof it and to put all of these things together, I sort of would like to have our Immersium things here. So let's make the... As, there's actually going to be four of them, isn't there? Immersium. There's going to be crystal, plate, beam, gear wheel. I think I'd like to just put those here together, even if they're not all things we need right this second. So let's do raw Immersite. Uh... Immersite Crystal. Immer... Immersium Plate. Wait. No, we're not doing raw Immersite. Probably, to space. Let's make this one Crystal. And then Plate. And then beam. And then gear. Cool. Um, let me just put some tags here ahead of time. Hemocyte crystal. Immersium plate. Immersium gear wheel. And Immersium beam. Fantastic. Even though I haven't actually done the gear wheels and beams yet. So I think this is already set up correctly. Um, and down here, how's our train doing? Storage problems. Why is this over full? Too many regular belts. Let's just go for 200. give that a minute. Uh, what's next on the list? Well, we should actually do the Immersium Crystals. That is necessary for the current signs. So I'm gonna need a vanilla train. And we're gonna need Immersium Crystal... To have a decider combinator. Oh, we get sulfur from here as well. May as well set that up while we're here. Let's get our construction train to visit over here. And then we change this schedule. Uh, what is it called? It was crystal, wasn't it? Until full cargo. And... This one goes here. 
empty cargo. That should already be good to go. And then we change this up. And that goes there, that goes there. Set train limit to the type of resource. Uh, where is it? And output input count. If it's greater than 120 stacks, 6,000. And we're not going to bother controlling this. And we're going to limit the front, which we have. Seems good. Uh, and then same thing here, except it is sulfur. And set train limit to sulfur, if I can find it. There it is. Uh, double check that that's blocked. Yes, that's fine. And there we go. Cool. Let's get our Immersium uh, crystal, is it? Let's get our train moving. Go pick that up. What? Wait, what was I just looking at for a split second there? Uh, this busted thing again. Uh... Hmm. What if I go filter inserter, active provider... And... Blacklist, set filters... Just take out whatever's not supposed to be in that train. <laughs> Simple enough. Alright, what resource should we do next? Oh, probably the plate while we're at it. But before I do, um, I actually want to go put prods in the Immersium stuff. Because we're about to take a whole lot of it away. We've got way more prods than we used to have. And Mercium is a finite resource at this stage. Let's just spam what we've already built with prods. Never mind the ratios. This is actually only one operation here, so the ratio doesn't matter. And it looks like it's the same thing in this block. Nice. Except I accidentally said put prods in here. Uh, looks like we got them. Fantastic. Uh, um, and we should probably prod this step as well. Oops. And this step. This is the only one with multiple steps in the same rail block. But we could easily adjust the ratio here. What are we bonking? Razor K. Let's see the rate calc on this one. We are very net negative for crushed imosite. So we don't need this many machines on the right. Uh, 12.672 per second. Uh, we could keep up with only 8? Really? 
How did we end up building it like this? Was it because I set it up? I think I set this up so that we drop off... No? Only one resource type. Raw emesite, crushed emesite. Why are there no filters on this? That's weird. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Missed a few bottom right last block. Indeed. Alright. Why can't I... Oh, they don't take prods for this step. Huh. I wonder if there's a similar... Oh, these ones do take prods. And these ones do not. No wonder there's way more machines than we need on the right now. I think my name may already be in there. It's fine. People, some people have been multi-redeeming. Over here. And... Let me just make sure I mark that off. There we go. Uh, so have I prodded everything I can for emesite stuff for the moment? I'm not terribly worried about the throughput or ratio for that now. At this moment. Okay, I don't understand... This is an LTN train. This happened since I updated it to take vanilla trains as well. It looked... wait. Oh, it left. Was that it? No, it's down here. That's not the station that I updated, actually. Provides tech threshold 80... And there's significantly less than 80 stacks here. Not sure what happened there, but... We should probably update this while we're here. You may go. So this is also a priority output for sulfuric acid. And set train limit sulfur, fantastic. Um, we're going to want two train loads of stuff before we summon a LTN train, and vanilla train can pick it up whenever it likes, as long as there's uh, at least a train load and a half. Elevator 2, please, Fraser K. No worries. Freeze, okay. Whoops. Fantastic. And then... What are we doing next? Uh, good question. Oh, I haven't actually done the plate thing. I got distracted by prod moduling everything. All right. Let's put some deciders here. And this goes, whoops, this goes here. Set train limit to plate. And push plate through if plate greater than, I don't know, uh, 120 stacks. I, we don't need a calculator to do times 100, do we? Uh, 120, 100. There we go. And for LTN, provide stack threshold is two train loads. And we're not doing this anymore. Fantastic. Old Busk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi, do you have a depot for the vanilla trains? Yes, I do. Uh, what's this flashing? Oh, there's a bot that's picked up 
I see. All busk. Uh, I was trying to avoid that. Hmm. We actually ran out of glass here? Really? I guess it made a bunch of text plates. Let's grab a bit more glass and I'll drop off these prods for the moment so we don't pour quite as much vulcanite into that. He broke it? Uh-oh. Where's our glass? Here it is. I'll take a bit more than that. And I'll just make it a storage chest instead of a passive provider. Hey, Pylon substation is moving a lot faster than it was before. Is this station empty? Pretty much. Let's set the provide threshold to basically nothing. And after it's actually empty, we'll have deconstruction train come along. Alright, I want to limit this. What have we got? 4.5k? Small glass text plate. Less than 4k. Make it a storage chest. Glass goes in here. And glass goes in here. Fantastic. Able Plum, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, I need a vanilla train for the plate. And I believe this is already set up correctly. Fantastic. This end is already set up correctly. Oh, someone asked about depots for the vanilla trains. Here they are. Right next to the output for the space elevator on both ends. So we've got uh, 16, 17, 18 uh, spots for vanilla trains to park here. We might need to add some more later on, but that's not a big deal. Uh, and basically, I've got a train limit on the drop-off. If there's any green circuits detected here, this station will have a train limit of zero. So green circuit train is waiting right here um, for the order to drop this off. Um, okay, I think all I have to do is configure this. Plate, in the CM plate, there we go, that is full cargo, and up here we need this station, empty cargo, and off you go. Start taking all that plate to space. Who's next? Ideally, I'd like to get two to four things that kind of go together over here. Uh, we do need to get some loaders in place. Go park over. Wait, 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 wait. I'd like to get some solar panels into our construction train, as a matter of course. Oh, there's none available in the logistics storage? I put too many in that cargo rocket um, that I didn't end up using for a while. Or at all, actually. Alright. How about filter inserter, active provider, 
In fact, just take everything out. Why are those two hovering? Oh, it's probably from the construction train, that's why. Alright, this is fine for now. Bots will sort themselves out. Wait for inactivity. 15 seconds. Uh, and what other things were we sending up by rocket? Obviously the tech cards. I'll do those last, I think. We've done the Immersium. Um, how about oil-related things? For solids. Sulfur, plastic, ice, and coal, perhaps? I feel like stone and coal kind of go together. Sulfur, plastic, stone, and coal. Put those here. Alright, let me just turn these off. So that a vanilla train doesn't rush into place. I think I'm also using a name that we haven't set up the train for yet. Alright. So, stone, make it coal. On the left. Stone. Uh, plastic. And sulfur. And I know I've set up a couple of these byproduct sulfur outputs again. Why are you coming here when there's almost no sulfur? There's plenty of sulfur actually. What's going on? Why is it not loading? Train limit? Train limit is zero. How much sulfur is here? For almost 6,000? Oh! Hmm. So the train arrives here, starts to get loaded, and then the amount of sulfur drops below 6k, and then the train limit becomes zero, and it stops loading? Is that what's happening? I didn't think while the train was actually here, that could... that could happen. Also, it wouldn't have happened if I'd set this to 160 stacks for LTN. So, never mind. Off you go. Uh, where's our main place that we're producing sulfur? Uh, there's a few of them. We've done this one already. We've done this one already. So it's actually just this lot. Fantastic. Uh, why don't I copy-paste... ...at least this much. Put that here. And... Where am I right now? A little bit far away. Let's send the construction train. Just to build that one combinator. Doing well. Fantastic. F for the cargo rocket. Oh, another crashed one. It's all in range of the robot network. We'll get sorted. Now, construction train arrives. Or is about to. Uh... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna set this to train limit sulfur and double train required. 
before LTN schedules one. Uh, and then this is already set up, actually. Perfect. Oh, except we're loading this the old way. Hmm. We've got such consistent throughput of sulfur, I think I'll just not worry about it. So then we need vanilla train for sulfur. Hey, we got pylon substations. Let's go. We'll immediately get to upgrading this mess to have nice, a nice few pylon substations. I had a thought you could read the LTN light output to tell if LTN has scheduled a train for any future priority shenanigans. I'll definitely have a think about that. Let me just get this one done first before I forget what we're doing. Uh, it's... I didn't already do sulfur train, did I? No, we would definitely have sulfur here by now if I did. Uh, down here, rather. The tree cottontail. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's do sulfur here. Plastic. Uh, what were these two? Coal and stone. I think I put stone first. Oh, I keep getting it backward. Coal. And stone. White area beacons next. Now we're cooking, indeed. I can stop thinking about... Uh, I can stop trying to design these things to fit small beacons and wide beacons at the same time. How luxurious. Uh, this one... Is going to be sulfur, right? Sulfur provider, uh, full cargo, and here it is. Sulfur vanilla drop off, empty cargo. Off you go. And I'm almost, I almost feel like I don't even have to watch. I can feel confident that that train is going to do its job. I hate how vanilla trains spam that destination full. There's no way we already have that much plate, is there? Oh, we're getting there. Right then, what's next? Uh, before I get carried away, I should probably set the mall to make some pylons. Can we skip the part where we have to make all the previous tiers of power poles? Looks like it. Pylon is aeroframe pole, beryllium plate, concrete, holmium cable. Then we add a lamp. Uh... And or we add a bunch of stuff to make pylon substation. Okay. I think we can just put all those together. Pylon. Lighted pylon. Pylon substation. Lighted pylon substation. Come to think of it, do we actually need lighted stuff up here, or I think we do. It'll look a little bit nicer. 
I think. Uh, and we'll need to bring in lithium sulfur batteries and holmium solenoids. Could you... Oh, and aeroframe pole. Aeroframe pole, beryllium plate. Cable. Frame pole and what was the other thing? Batteries, lithium sulfur batteries. Oh, and holmium solenoids, which we haven't made yet. How do we make them? Iron stick, holmium cable, rare metals. Uh, I think just for the moment. I'll just do a little build for that here. And we also need iron stick, I guess. Need to add all of these things to the whitelist over here. Cable. Uh, solenoid. Plate. And aeroframe pole. And also lithium sulfur batteries, which I thought we had. we make lithium sulfur batteries? Copper lithium sulfuric acid. I could probably make them up here technically, but it sounds like a bit of a pain. Oh, I've already got an LTN drop-off here We're using the active provider. Anything that's here, we can get into the mall already. Get with the times all the cool kids deadlock trains? Are you the cool kids? Like, all of them? T-Hex, if you just deadlocked your trains more, you wouldn't see the... <laughs> you wouldn't see the destination full image. Brew. Good call. Interesting angle. Uh, we need to make another, another one of these blocks. There's going to be a few of them. I think I'd like to have, just to make sure this is as scalable as possible, uh, I think I'd like to potentially have four... Um, train depots for the vanilla trains uh, around the uh, space elevator. So that's 16, 17, 18 times 4. Up to 72 different resources I could bring up if it's one train per resource. Evil plot? Good to see you again. Oh, wait, wait. You were here before. What's this emote? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Um, I kind of want to bring up the batteries. I don't really want to change this layout over here. And... I could leave room for, like, double depot in each direction, just to be really, really sure. So, let's do that. 
We might do a, another block down here. Um, I'm going to have to copy that scaffolding. There we go. Where's our construction train? It is struggling. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, right? Just make a depot where you can't see your trains and let them blink destination full there. But I want them to have the shortest possible route most of the time. Why are we putting barrel plate? We literally just emptied this train. Ah, uh, bots. Okay. Oh, there's stuff sticking through. That shouldn't be a problem. explode goes the butt. It'll get fixed soon enough. I should probably request more scaffolding here. We can probably fit twice as much easily enough. Uh, where? There we go. Fantastic. Just a little bit more. Oh, there's no scaffolding here. Alright, that'll do for the moment. Down you go. Wait for inactivity. That is an advanced radar that I never built. But it looks like we don't really need one there. Let me go put an advanced radar... Apparently I need rare metals. There's some up this way. Did a meteorite get through? Really? Huh. I wonder when that happened. I think our train is building our rail block right now. Alright, give me a little bit of rare metal. And make a advanced radar. And I'll put it down here somewhere. Already 12% on wide area beacon 2. Or wide area beacon 1, I guess. Beacon number 2. And that should keep all of this revealed at all times. Uh, let's do one at the space elevator as well. Okay, why are we still lurching like that? Because the train is still placing signals? Okay then. Radar... Oh, I'm still handcrafting it. Let's just put you... I can't actually fit you there. Uh, how about about here? There goes some sulfur, and that's actually the last sulfur train until we start consuming it. 
Fantastic. Looks like we're just about done here. Uh, actually, could I get you to wait a bit? And we'll grab... Grab our blueprint once more. Also, give us the flat solar panels. Seems good. Are we out of bulk loaders? Apparently. Uh, what do we need? One, two loaders. And one, two, three unloaders. We also need some vanilla train stops. One, two, three, four. All right. Switch this off. Oh, I keep forgetting my blueprint doesn't have those damn loaders. Let's uh, blueprint this, get the loaders only, and just line it up like so. Fantastic. Uh, apparently there's still some missing. Wait, what? Oh no, that makes sense. How many loaders is this? 94, wow. Okay. A little more than I expected, to say the least. Um, but regardless, we can go ahead and set this up with whatever the next resource is going to be that we bring up. How about we do batteries? I'm pretty sure we'll need both types of battery brought to space. Let's just double check. Um does go into signal transmitter, accumulator, there's no prod bonuses for accumulators, or laser turrets. Space train power pack? We can make those on the ground, I doubt there's a prod bonus for it though. We'll see. Railgun. Okay, yeah, there's enough reasons to uh, to bring up regular old batteries. And let's also bring... Uh, where are they? Lithium sulfur batteries? That's this part done already. Bottom right looks wrong. I think it's right. Okay. So, battery. Thought it's over here somewhere. Uh, here's lithium sulfur batteries. Why are there a couple of lithium sulfur, uh, sulfur batteries on the ground here? Let's get our construction train to pay that a visit. And then we need regular batteries. Here they are. Uh, let's see. Decide a combi. Where's our construction train? After you go there, please go over here. And it should already have the decider here. Fantastic. 
Okay, set train limit. Battery. Output. Input count. Battery. If battery greater than uh, 50 times 120. 6,000. And I don't actually have the usual system here. It's probably fine. And then same deal over here. Set train limit, battery. What does this stack to? 200. 24k. Battery, battery. If there's more than a train load and a half, allow vanilla trains. LTN, wait till there's two train loads. And push this to the front unconditionally. And we'll set this to wait for two train loads as well. So now we need a couple of vanilla trains, one for each type of battery. Don't forget to set LTN to two times, indeed. So this goes up here, and this goes down here. Wait for empty, wait for full, and you are good to go. Whoops. Once more. Exact same thing, but with different batteries. Uh, wait till full. I mean, empty. Wait, did I put those backward before? Wait till full. And that's it. If I did put them backward, then our train should be stuck at battery pickup. Which it is not. Empty at... No, it is backward. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, wait until full, wait until empty. Fantastic. I did indeed put them in backward. Alok Thonis, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I didn't say so sooner. Alright, so that's every type of battery that we know so far brought into the rail network. Uh, let's request them over here. Battery... 16... let's make it like 18,000. And the other type, a uh, quarter of that, 4,000, make it like 5,000 or 6,000. Uh, and we actually do need an LTN depot. To run these things. Can I already make those special train batteries? Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I'm looking forward to setting those up and using them. Space train power pack. Yeah. Space train. But I don't feel like taking time out of what I'm doing right now to make them. Let me just check if we can prod module them or not. 
I have no exoskeleton, but we've got this active for some reason. Uh, let's see. Editor. Space train. Power pack manufacturing. We actually can't prod module it, so there's no reason not to make it in space. Well, except that it'll cost a little bit more um, to send three different things up the space elevator as opposed to just the power packs. They stack to 60, and they need 10 lithium sulfur batteries. They need a fifth of a stack of these and a tenth of a stack of these and a little bit of steel plate. So it's much more stack efficient to send them up this way. Rabbit hole, let's go, indeed. The thing is, uh, I'm going to have to... Maybe I could do like a temporary one train depot for LTN over here. I think I will. Because I really just want it working for the moment. I don't want to go to the trouble of making uh, a depot that I'm going to replace uh, with putting a lot of effort into it. I literally just want to get a few items to the mall. So we'll have the bot supply the fuel. And we need L double C L train. Is that where this goes? It's hard to tell. With recharging, shouldn't need many. Um, I don't know if it's going to make that much difference. Regardless, we'll need some fuel for the trains. Oh, do we have any pylons yet? No, we don't, because we haven't... Oh, we do! Hey, we have two pylon substations, somehow. Must have just had a couple of those batteries left over. Luxurious. Apparently we don't have a couple of locomotives up here, though. Alright, uh, let's ride the train back. It'll be a little bit easier. So, what is the autocrafter stuff on? Iron sticks. Let's run out of lithium sulfur batteries. To the surprise of no one. Um, I guess just put a handful of iron sticks in. We don't have holmium cable. But we do have holmium cable. It's looking a little bit slow. Uh, and we'll have to request iron sticks in here, I guess. Let's put them here. Okay. You can have these locomotives. And we need to name this thing Depot 2. Stop is Depot. Connect to Logistic Train Stop Input. Request some fuel.
expand the robot network, I guess. Probably add some signals. Cool. And then... That's an interesting schedule. Cool. It's already picking up green circuits. Oh, it's delivering to over here. I guess that's fine. Uh, we should probably separate these robot networks now. Not construction mode, normal mode. Oh, it's still... I think this is supposed to be over here. There we go. It's still connected? What? What? It's still part of the same giant logistic network? Even though the... The yellow bits don't touch? don't understand. What if I put this in normal mode? It seems like construction mode makes it reach further with the uh, logistic connection. No? What? What is going on here? Why is it like this? Why are you in logistic mode? Um... Okay, now it's its own separate robot network, it looks like. Bring a robo network up here. Fantastic. It's going to be more than enough logi bots for this place. Should probably bring up some of those efficiency modules. Uh, in any case, our train is going to be busy for a minute supplying the stuff for the flat solar panels. There are separate values for construction range and logistic range. Crustorio changes them. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe I should just disable this station until the mall gets its stuff. I was planning on moving the mall, but obviously we need something functional for the moment. And we can start bringing it all in from here and separating these robot networks too. Why... why would you put material science packs here? That is just such a needlessly long commute to put this back somewhere. <sighs> okay. Where even were we up to? Probably putting some of these space loaders in? How are there always destroyed logi bots in this train? Probably because they die here and then the construction bots pick them up. Yeah, I really don't want to stick with the cycle of 
death and rebirth for our robots. Uh, I'd like them to just not die. We'll have smaller robot networks. But yeah, I wanted to put two stacks of loaders in so that we can actually build this in one go next time. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Having some fun, fun times with bots today, indeed. Eopa, welcome, welcome also. I didn't say so. Okay. So, more to the point, we're finally getting our batteries delivered. Um... Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's as expected. Maybe bots just die and fall into the chest. I mean, they just about do. Unless I park the uh, construction train away from where the bots are going to die, um, it can't be helped. And we're definitely not loading this stuff with not bots. So I really just have to keep the Logibot count at 50 or below. Alright, what resource are we going to do next? This is batteries. And batteries. Um, let's have a look at our list of stuff we were requesting. Batteries weren't actually on them. How about we do small electric, big electric, etc. I'm sure we'll need those at some point. There's one, two, three, four of these together. I think I'd like to put them here. Um, I should really get a default name for these that's very similar to what we want to set it to. Instead of having to do it this way. Alright. Single... I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure... Oh my god, what do I have to type to get single cylinder engine? Uh, motor, I guess. Motor goes into some pretty basic stuff. Gates. Gun turret. We do have to make gun turrets up here to make... Uh, Mechanical facilities, I guess. It seems overkill to bring single cylinders into space, though, looking at this. Yeah, I think we could skip those. And then we'll probably bring multi-cylinder, small electric, big electric, and flying robot frame. Uh, what do I have to type here? Engine unit. Engine unit goes into... It's all just mall stuff? I thought there was something that was high throughput. Nope. As far as I can tell, there's actually no reason to bring those up. Alright, so small electric, surely. Oh my god. Electric motor, electric engine. Laser turret. Roboport. 
space transport belt. There you go. Okay. I think that's a good enough excuse. Definitely bring up small electric. We were already bringing them up for something at scale, I think. Uh, and big electric, no doubt. Goes into mechanical fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very definitely doing that one. Alright, let's switch those on. And we'll need a couple of vanilla trains. Uh, let's see where we're making small electric. Only in one place. And it's almost, no, it is in a robot network. Uh, I don't think it's quite going to be built by itself. Let's just park our train over here for a sec. Uh, and Big Electric is going to be in range all the time. I'll just double check we're not building that somewhere else as well. Nope. Fantastic. Alright, so this goes here, this goes here. Stack size 50. So 6,000. This part can be unconditional. If big electric greater than 6k, set the train limit to practically infinite. And now we do the same thing for small electric. Small electric's looking a bit different. It's using a splitter. It's probably fine though. Because of the sheer scale that we build these things. Uh, even so, I think I'll do the same logic. Greater than 6k. And set train limit that. Uh, and I think that's it. So now we just need our vanilla trains. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Loco for science too. Yeah, we'll get to it. We've got a lot of science uh, like saved up up in orbit, the tech cards. Alright. So, motor, motor, this goes up here, empty cargo, and full cargo. Off you go. Once more, vanilla train. LTN limit for engines too? Good point, thank you. 160 stacks. Uh, I don't think we need a 50k threshold. And... oh. Well... We're probably gonna do this one anyway. Um... 160 stacks. Fantastic. Allow short trains, please. And then... Uh, small engines. One, six, oh, stacks. Short trains are allowed. Fantastic. Might want to push the back to the front, though, if we have short trains pick this up. I know, I could just input priority and do it like this. That'll probably work. Maybe that was the best way to go about it all along. Anyway. Big electric 
motor. That's small electric motor. How dare you. Empty cargo. And big electric motor pickup. Full cargo. Off you go. Did you mean output priority? Nope. What do you mean? Output priority you mean and not input prior. Uh, I didn't change any input or output prior. On the splitter. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's input prior. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we just fill the front cargo wagon first. But we only allow 40 stacks here. And we won't actually bother taking from the back to the front, I guess. I, I suppose that works alright if it's something where we produce really continuously. But for slower stuff, it might not be so good. Well, for really slow stuff, I wouldn't want to use a belt from here to here either. Alright, so we have our small electric motors. I didn't actually do anything up here. We have our big electric motors on the way, I hope. Here they come. Fantastic. And I kind of wish I'd put them up here. It would have been a good fit now. Do we want to bring up flying robot frames? I don't think so. Well, it depends if we want to do bot spam or try to keep it below, f uh, try to keep it at 50 um, for each of our little robot networks. We'll see. I don't actually have a block that builds robot frames yet, anyway. Okay, what else do we need? So many things. Uh, we need ingots. I've kind of been putting those off because I need to do a different layout for those. Lithium, rare metals. Could put those next to each other. Glass and silicon. Let's do those. Let's do glass and silicon here. And glass. I'm pretty sure we do need silicon and glass for a bunch of space stuff. Surely. Lasers. Navsat. Denser turbine. At the very least it'll be a convenience, but I'm pretty sure... There we go, blank observation frame. And silicon. We need silicon for solar panels. Which I could do on the ground, but I already did a build where uh, we start from the very basics. Instead of shipping solar panels up. It would probably be more stack efficient to ship up solar panels. But I don't have a rail block for them or anything. It's not strictly the most efficient in terms of the cost using the space elevator, but it's just a bit more convenient, I think. Alright. Glass can go here. Come to think of it, don't we need quartz for something? Heat pipe. Silicon. Not really. Depends if I want to strictly make 
heat pipe on the ground. We also need it for laser turrets. It's kind of convenient if we can make laser turrets upstairs. Let's make this quartz. doing? It's already set up, isn't it? Just have to turn this on. I need to name these uh, pickup stations as well. I haven't been doing that. Alright. Cryonite rod. Vulcanite block. Uh, heat shield. We did heat shield. We did LDS. Looks like we did all of these. Let's just look at the station names. It's kind of hard to see though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these I haven't named. And it looks like all of those are done. Okay. So this is Immersite Crystal. Provider, Immersium Plate, Provider, uh, what are these two? Oh, we haven't actually made these yet. Gear, Provider, and Beam, Provider. Fantastic. And I think I've actually already got the train... Yeah, never mind. Uh, that just leaves coal. Stone. Hold on, how do we not have coal and stone up here yet? Did I not make trains for them? I think I didn't make trains for coal and stone. And plastic as well. We do have sulfur. Uh, and this is supposed to be plastic. Alright, so let's start with plastic. Hey, Immo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a lot of... Oh, okay. Providers is just a pair of them. Uh, let's see, this goes here, and where's our other plastic that we're making? Why down here, I wonder? Probably because it's so close to coal and petroleum. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Construction train. Park here for a sec. And then park here for a sec. Uh, and then we need coal and stone. Hmm. I don't exactly want to have to keep setting up outpost stations as being available for vanilla trains to take coal and stone up to space. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but ideally... I don't actually imagine that we're going to get a, going to get enough coal and stone throughput just from coal mining or something. And I don't really want to make an arbitrary storage for them. Oh, we do get coal coming in from is it Granis? No, it's not Granis. Or what planet are we still getting coal from? 
by cargo rocket, that is. Also, I need to have another look at Granis, because that... This thing's not ready to launch. It's fine, actually, it looks like. Yeah, it's doing okay. Exorion? No coal rockets here. Gibbel, no coal rockets. Um, herb tea? No coal rockets. Hmm. I don't know how we still have coal in this cargo landing pad. Coal was Grannis, but it's supplanted, indeed. The Rizinger. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's the factory? Pretty good. We're just working through sending up all the different resources with the space elevator that we're going to need. It's taking a little time. But it's better than cargo rockets. So there. Uh, but yeah, I was just a little stuck on how I'm going to do coal and stone, and I think... Oh, wait, 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 we've got coal continuously coming from one place, um, and that's here. From our... Uh, coal filtration. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I might just fly over there real quick. Fifty-three percent on wide area beacons, very nice. Because I want to change the output stations for these a little bit more than what might be easy to change remotely. Um... Hmm. You can see why I set it up this way. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. We'll connect to that as well. We'll set provide stack threshold at 120. And we'll set... We'll set our vanilla trains to pick up coal from these stations. Um, decider combinator. The thing is, it also gives us petroleum. Um, but it kind of gives us coal primarily. In fact, we're not getting petroleum because we're not consuming coal. Yeah, we're not getting petroleum because we're not consuming coal. So we can think of this primarily as a coal pickup. So we can kind of ignore the petroleum for these purposes. Um, we're just going to say set train limit coal. And if coal is greater than uh, one train load, 4,000. Then set a train limit greater than zero. And that'll do. Speaking of which, there's a train coming now. Alright. And then same thing over here. And that'll pretty much do it. So now we need a vanilla train for the cult, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do about stone. Did you connect the plastic up and make a train? I didn't do the plastic yet, no. Alright, so it's this one. 
full cargo and where's our station there we go vanilla coal drop off empty cargo and go Um, we'll do plastic next, because I still don't know what I want to do with stone. And I'll just check. I think we did put the combinators down for the plastic. Uh, plastic is 12k. Output, input, count. And set train limit to plastic. I'll just have to check, but I'm pretty sure I did set these to coal. Fantastic. And then we'll copy this wherever we like. Oh, and don't forget, uh, provide stack th That's iron plate. You absolute derp. Um, okay, moving on rapidly. Provide stack threshold 160. We don't need a liquid provide threshold. And back to where the plastic is down here. I think you renamed the iron plate pickup station. It's possible. Uh, yep, we did indeed. And apparently there's a train headed for here, but I can't see it. Is it because I changed the station name? It probably is, yeah. Or I think it was still... The train had already left. Nice catch, indeed. Alright, I'll just double check that's all of the plastics. It is indeed. Uh, so that means we can now update our schedule here. Empty cargo. And full cargo. Off you go. Okay. Stone. There's an awful lot of places we get stone from. What is this? I think this was from... Emptying. Oh, this was from when we ended up with uh, way too much stone a while ago. You can just get rid of that. Easy enough. And apparently we had a bunch of petroleum barrels. That makes sense, actually. From the crashed rockets. All right, where else? As a side product, that's going to be pretty slow. Maybe I should make a stone storage. Wait, don't we already have a stone storage? Because it comes out of... Coal mining? I need to redesign this slightly. But it looks like... Huh. I never set the filters on this. Oh, 
Well, if that's Cryonite Rod, I guess this is Cryonite Powder. And stack size 50 times 3 times 520? 26k. Can this actually destroy cryonite powder? I don't think so. So that should just not have a condition that works. Why am I storing this again? Hold on. Cryonite powder. We can destroy it, right? Yeah, but it probably is going to be pretty slow. I can't turn it into landfill or something. Hmm. I would search for landfill. It doesn't look like we are requesting stone at any of these. I kind of want to redesign it anyway. It's not that it's the worst possible design, but it's kind of hard to follow, regardless. And this is just U-235 for some reason. Oh, has this been- has this train been waiting here for 600,000 years? What's this train doing? Oh, I think I see the problem here. that backward actually. This is the station that can have cryonite powder reading from here. Okay then. Seems like cryonite powder is always saturated nowadays. I hope we're keeping up with the demand for rods. It looks like we are. Probably just need to use a bunch of brushes to get rid of the cryonite powder if it fills up. Regardless, we're getting a bit distracted here. Um, I was trying to figure out where stone was going. And the answer is nowhere. We're just counting on it getting consumed, I guess. Um... We do have a bunch of stone mines that are taking their sweet time getting emptied. Okay. I think long term I should definitely make a stove. What is this? There's no power. Because this was never built. Okay. I think more long term I should build a storage for stone. Um, it does come out of core fragment processing after all. But just for the moment what I'll do is just make a stone mine or two accessible to the vanilla trains. Come to think of it. Okay, this is our default name for our lazy mines. So it doesn't even ha it doesn't even distinguish itself as offering stone. You could do the opposite of the vanilla to landfill on Hagen, vanilla to LGN. Hmm. Yeah, I could do vanilla... I, I could do LTN dropping off to a stone storage that is only able to be picked up by vanilla trains.
Or I could do another one of these storage blocks. And allow stone to be stored there. And make it so vanilla trains can pick up from the storage. Except these storage blocks are always the lowest possible priority. Um, because we want things to go literally everywhere else first. I might have to have a thunk about this one. But at least for a short-term solution, I could definitely just make um, a storage. Since this block has some stuff in it that we're waiting to get rid of eventually anyway, I'll just build it here. And we'll have... Like so, and like so, pretty sure that's in the middle, and we'll just push it from here to here. Um, whoops. Get some undergrounds. Wait, no, don't handcraft them. Alright, so this will be requester. This will be provider. We'll need some substations. Requesting stone. Quite a bit, just to be safe. Don't forget those belts. And... Stone pickup. Vanilla, I mean, rain stop. Seems good. Uh, and don't even make it an LTN stop, actually. Just to make it perfectly clear what we're doing here. We'll need a decider, some wires, set train limit to stone. Actually, there should literally only ever be one train coming to pick this up at a time. It's not like the others. If stone greater than something, uh, I could even link all of this actually, so we know exactly how much stone minus whatever's on the belt is actually here. Don't know what this train is doing. Whichever one it is that is approaching this location. Oh, here it comes. Alright, so if stone is greater than, what, 4k? Maybe a little bit more. Then train limit is 1. And station name is called... Uh, stone... 
provider with vanilla train stop. So now we make a vanilla train. Oh no, train stop name? Yeah, I noticed. We're just gonna have to wait till there's no one coming here. Oh, and we probably don't want too much to go into the back like that. Seems good. Let's just allow 40 stacks, like usual. Okay, where's our train? Stone, this one, and this one. Wait till full cargo, wait till empty cargo, off you go, and straight through the space elevator. Fantastic. And then we can call this stone requester. And I'll just point out that it's going to vanilla train. Fantastic. Up we go. And a quick stop into the depot, which is getting kind of full. We've got three slots left, apparently. Make it at least only two slots left. And then park yourself over here. And that's our stone. Uh, and it looks like we've filled up on everything else that we've actually got available. We've got... Uh, two more... Oh, I haven't actually made glass and quartz. Alright, glass. I believe there's only one pickup for this so far. And quartz. Copy, paste. Let's get our construction train. Mark yourself over here, and then over here, and then over here, and back to empty and recycle. Uh, meanwhile, we can start putting down our next trick. So this is going to be glass, and glass, wait till empty, wait till full, uh, here we go, looks like this is also the old way of doing things. Uh, since we've got 120 stacks in here, I think I'll just set this to provide stack threshold 120. And we'll say uh, if there's 80 times 200, 16k glass. Then we can allow vanilla train. Class train has the invalid provider station still? Does it? Oh, it does too. Fantastic. I think it's ready to go now. I should really prod this. Uh, but 
I want to get quartz working. How's our power? Oh, it's still really good. Alright, quartz. Set train limit quartz. Output quartz. If quartz greater than... Uh, got a similar issue here. So 120 times 50, 6k, actually 80 times 50, 4k. And this can be 120 stacks. I'll just check what I did with glass as well. 16k, that is... yeah, that's right. And this should be 120, that's good. Oh, and... short trains are fine. Alright. Let's copy... paste... all of... that. It's fine if we... Copy paste the silicon part, right? And that goes there. Uh, and I guess I need to do this part manually. The glass has a one train limit, which means it may break LTN since it can't store 120 stacks. Uh, it can store 120 stacks. It's got 40 here, 40 here, and 40 here. So once these three are full with the limitations we've put on it, uh, LTN will schedule a pickup. Speaking of which, I need to make sure those are connected on all three. There we go. And back to the mall. Uh, we were doing quartz, right? Make sure full. I mean empty. Make sure full. And off you go. Thought the cannon chests were smaller. Nope. You get a whole cargo wagon in them. It's a little bit less than a regular chest, but it's fine. Alright, why don't I go and prod module our glass and maybe we'll double the build somewhere if it gets slow. We go. Oh, I didn't bring the prods. Whoops. How fast is this? 96 glass per second, requiring 192. And now it is... wow! Only 26 per second. Uh, do I have some beacons? I do. I didn't bring the speed modules. I did fit this for the tier 1 beacons. Not to mention the tier 2s. Let's go get some.
Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Speaking of beacons, 74% indeed. Only if you had 26% more done on advanced beacons, yeah. We have to go to the trouble of making them though as well. This is fine for the moment. Uh, let's put those back. Give me some efficiencies. Give me some speeds. And up we go. I think we've only been materially bottlenecked. If ever. Well, not if ever. Like some of the time. But glass. So... How much power is this? How much speed? Plus 60%. I don't think we really need that. We've got like... Four blue belts. How many machines is this? 48. Yeah, this is literally too fast for the belts. Um, let's get some efficiency. How about half and half? Minus 20% speed. That's probably fine. Alright, so... 107 glass per second. Half a stack, in other words. That should be okay. Probably. Meanwhile, in space, we've got... We've got glass and we've got quartz. Fantastic. And we've got a LTN train picking up batteries again already. Wait, where are you going with that? To the mall. Oh, is this the first time you actually brought batteries to the mall? Probably... Probably yes. No? There's 60... Hold up. I may have forgotten to... Uh, to let the mall know how much... To let LTN know how much is at this mall. So we might have been bringing a few more batteries than was strictly necessary, not to mention whatever else. Yay, indeed. It's... it's fine. It's probably fine. Alright, we've got two slots Remember left yourself, before we need to build anything. Slow and insidious killer. We've got two slots left before we need to build anything else to bring up more resources. Uh, we've done coal, we've done stone. Do we want to bring up solid rocket fuel? I probably will want to use spaceships with liquid rocket fuel, at least for a time. What am I trying to look up here? Uh, does it go into anything else? Atomic bomb? Heavy rocket, nav set... Uh, space capsule, thruster suit... Oh, space science pack. Yeah, I forgot. Alright. There's totally a reason to bring up solid rocket fuel regardless. Let's do that here. And we can switch that on now. Uh, and then we just need to find... Solid rocket fuel, there's only one place we make it, actually. 
And I'm going to jack up. literally two per second. We've got so much but it's not saturated. That's interesting to me. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go with provide stack threshold two train loads and decide a combinator. I don't suppose the robot network can reach that. Let's do it this way. to make it a little bit easier. Oh wait, this was here for a reason, wasn't it? Yeah, we have to have X amount of solid rocket fuel before we make liquid rocket fuel. Okay. Uh, is it stack size 10? It is. If solid rocket fuel greater than 800, output that and set the train limit. And that should be good for vanilla and LTN trains. Um, and then we need another vanilla train. Solid rocket you are? Where is it? Did I not name it yet? Upstairs? I did. Solid rocket fuel. Oh my goodness. Rocket fuel. It is called rocket dash fuel. Why can't I find it when I search for it? Here we go. We'll just type rocket. It goes up here. Empty cargo. And then... Full cargo. Off you go. Oh, I thought they were going to crash. Got enough traffic? I guess we are next to a depot. And through the space elevator we go. It's going to take a little bit to saturate it up here, if we're only making two per second. Uh, but that one should be finished. We're getting there. I could, I'm just about getting close to ready to um, separate these and supply them with the rail network. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six types of tech card to move. We already did sulfur. We already did glass. I think we skipped silicon for now. I could put silicon here, I guess. And what else is there? Ice? I kind of want to put silicon and ice next to each other since they're kind of a very similar color and shape. We already did small electric. We already did plastic. Uh, we're not going to barrel stuff. We're going to bring it up as an actual fluid. Um, unless it's actually more efficient. I doubt it. 
it's a bit of a pain to do it this way anyway. Stack size 10, so 800 times 50. 40k as opposed to 50k. It's actually, it's actually not, it's only like 20% less efficient to bring it up as barrels. It is of course more of a logistic headache as well. Uh, so that leaves ice, silicon, science stuff. That adds up to eight things. Maybe I will put those into their own block. Uh, and then we've got to deal with metals. Rare metals can come up just like anything else. Um, ingots are going to have their own special thing we do. Let's have a look. Ingot. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of ingots ultimately. Are we going to end up making the Naquium ingots on the ground? Or does that have to happen in space in this version? Industrial furnace. Yeah, so all of those are going to happen on the ground. I feel like taking a little break from this repetition, let's do something a little bit different. Um, try and design something nice for unpacking the ingots in space. So... So this is approximately what we're using right now. I don't think we're going to be able to elegantly fit, um, well, no. We do have to have ingots and plate available for pickup. So it's going to be uh, one unloader to two bulk rail loaders. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. If the rail corners weren't so big, that could maybe work. More efficient because it also comes with free steel. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Rocket fuel train has the null station still. Okay, rocket fuel train. Where are you? I guess it just skips it. Currently going to the spell evader. And up we go. Oh. Gonna go to a depot. I guess the floor of this depot layout is and I don't see a way around it. The trains that have the least throughput, more often than not are going to be the ones parking at the easiest to reach uh, depot spots. So this rocket fuel train, for example, comes all the way over here. But it really doesn't add that much time to it. Alright, that seems fine. Hey, we're actually not saturated yet. Never mind. It's fine, though. I'm really liking how neat this is. Alright, let's have a look. If you only have a single train because low throughput, it doesn't need to wait at the space depot. Um, the only reason it needs to wait there is it has to wait somewhere when the whole thing is saturated. Unless we're going to have it sit at the unloader. Except I don't think we can... I don't think it can recognize until it's on the same surface if the pickup station has something available. Uh, I guess I could... No, I, I already did. 
Um, looks like this doesn't have enough. Yeah, it doesn't have enough to trigger... Like, technically we could fill a train with this, but it doesn't have enough to say this is enough. So, any trains that we see waiting here, the resource itself is not keeping up at the moment. So stone? Wait, stone? Really? Wasn't stone saturated? Nope. Stone is not saturated, it's probably because we have to rely on... It's probably because I switched this off, actually. That, it, that is probably the reason. Um, but yeah. Batteries and Immersium Crystal are not keeping up with the copious amount of storage that we're putting up there to start with. I guess I didn't strictly need to make it have that much storage, but I feel a bit better with it. Where are we making batteries? There they are. Yeah, I think we're making batteries far quicker than we need to. Um, but it's just a big amount to catch up with. Did request 300 million batteries at the mall. I... Y yeah, a little bit. We've got, we've only got 83k here. It's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so can we do something similar to this layout? Oh, I don't have to keep it here, do I? I kind of want it here as an example. It's probably going to be a little bit like the fluid um, storage. It's just going to be the same thing, but not as dense, perhaps. We could maybe do four different ingot resources here if we just remove like one of these. In fact, that just makes a ton of sense. going to be something like... I could obviously move these a bit closer. In fact, what if we go with something like this? So we drop off iron ingots here. We obviously need this to work with space loaders. Wait, can you fix that with an upgrade planner? I imagine not. Nope. Okay. Space loader. Uh, we do have to pick up iron plates or ingots of various types directly sometimes. Plus we might just want to transport them in a more dense fashion. Uh, and then? It doesn't quite work the way I had in mind. We could probably do long arms for the input. With the ingots. And... What is it? Stack inserters? Probably have some speed modules here. Hey, Midden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does it matter where it waits if the throughput... If it's simple but it works, leave it alone. Indeed. Um, so this is going to be iron 
plate from ingot. Do I need to balance it? Probably not. We'll probably just do it this way. Or we could do it the same way we usually do. Seems fine. Put that to 40. Iron ingot. Iron plate. It seems pretty good to me, honestly. We're not even wasting that much space compared to the last one. Uh, obviously, we need to swap these out. And... Could I copy, paste, flip this at all? Goes here, that goes here, that does connect here. And this goes here. Uh, and this can be copper, I guess. Iron ingot, request a, and then vanilla. Is that our naming convention? Thing, request a train stop. I'm pretty sure that's it. Thing, request a train stop. Can you set up space scaffold in the editor? Yes, we will be doing that. Um, although, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure if I put some scaffolding under something that needs it, and then remove, remove scaffolding like this, it doesn't recognize uh, that that scaffolding would be necessary. But it's probably fine. I mean, we'll just add a bunch when we're done. What hacks just showed is not a problem with the mod. With the mod that you pointed out. Blueprint sandboxes. Hmm. Speaking of scaffolding. Well, I can... I can add all of that with a, with a different blueprint later on. Let's not worry about that for now. Design it with pylons? Uh, let me see how many we have first. Pylon. 18 pylon substations. That is a number between my expectations. Don't have iron gear wheel, apparently. We do have iron gear wheel. Bring on the iron gear wheels. Um, pylon. Wait, what? Why is it we're trying to make 
lighted pylon, pylon substation, and lighted pylon substation, but we're not trying to make pylon at the moment. Pylon comes first. That is really strange. Didn't you make pylons? Yeah, I've made a handful of pylons. I'm not sure how it's stalled like this. Like, it'll sort itself out eventually, but pylons should absolutely be built before the other types of pylon. Like, implicitly, just with the item ID ordering. So I'm not sure how this happened. It looks like we are trying to make 32 regular pylons still. No, we've already got... F oh, I know what it is. We've already made them. Pylon... Pylon sub. Fantastic. Pylon... Up to 50. Pylon substation. Up to 50. Nice. So yeah, we really should be designing this with pylons already. That's a good feeling. Don't need any scaffolding for those. And I should probably figure out a layout uh, for our regular blueprint that takes advantage of them. Alright, lighted pylon substation. I want these in the corners. And then in the middle, let's make sure we know where the middle is. Perfect. And we'll have to update our existing builds as well. And just put one in... Hold on, let's get rid of all of these. Uh, literally just put one in the middle to cover the difference. Doesn't get much neater than that. What are we eyeing? Okay. That's as close as it can be. That is basically as close as it can be. As is light. We're using lighted substations. Beautiful, indeed. Oh, wow. No more this will have to do with the power poles. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. So this is going to be copper. Uh, this is going to be copper ingot. And then we need steel. Let's get rid of all of this. Copy, paste, flip this. Or rather, just rotate. And this one will be steel. And I don't know which ingot I want to do next. How many types of ingots did we say we had? I think it was seven. So it's going to be almost two blocks like this. That makes me a little sad. Maybe we should do like double iron or something. Yeah. Uh, 
How do I make this look all neat and tidy when all is said and done? Can the pylons be used on the planets also? They can. Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Deep Tree Cottontail. Good to see you again also. And Ragamuffin. Upper right looks like it's copper still rather than iron. Um, it's supposed... To... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's supposed to be copper. Or at least that was the idea at the time. I wish I knew just immediately if we're going to consume more iron or copper late game. Hmm. Did you set the pickup names wasn't watching for these ones or for the old the stuff that I missed earlier? Uh because yes, I did. Alright, so this is iron plate pickup, this is copper plate pickup. How fast can this convert? 40 per second? But we can obviously speed it up. Even if we just use tier 3s. Um, that is 104 per second. 26 per second. Uh, we might need better inserters to keep up with that. We could always do multiples of these as well. I'm sure we'll need more eventually. Thought you were changing all four to iron? No, we're good. Uh, having different resources from the one block sort of will spread out the train traffic a bit as well. Um, and let's just go with whatever's next here. Beryllium plate. Actually, let me have a look at this. We've got... Uh... Hmm. We've kind of got th three of the main... Exotic metals. I don't think there's a way to make this all neat. We'll just use up these as needed. Um, but for our demo, we've got iron, copper, steel, beryllium. So this will be beryllium plate. This will be Beryllium Ingot. Uh, this will be Steel Ingot. And this will be Steel Plate. Fantastic. And we will need some scaffolding. Oh, also, I wanted to see where the flat solar panels were going to fit. Now that we've got... That's a pretty good fit. I kind of like that. We can't fit double, so this is fine. And we could always use this extra space for solar panels as well. a little tight. Suffice to say, with pylon substations, it's not going to be difficult to find some spots to squeeze in some panels.
I got a little bit carried away there, I'll admit. Alright, that's enough. Uh, scaffolding... Scaffolding, please. I should really just build the whole thing and then remove the excess. And that's going to take a lot more dot work. This goes here. save about here give me those tiles Let's see how this looks I think that's about it for the solar panels And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'll just make all of this a big rectangle. Fantastic. And don't forget the combinators and train stops. Rail signals don't need them. That should be it. Let's have these switched off so that it won't work. Uh, the moment we place it down from a blueprint, that way we can change it before the train arrives. LSF, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think that's just about it. Let's blueprint. Snap to grid 86251. Uh... Modules, entities, tiles, train stop names, uh, ingot, to plate, request a provider, uh, vanilla, LTN, ingot, plate. 
Fantastic. Let's drop that in... I don't know, probably over here, I guess. Yeah, definitely in here, because it's in the same category as this stuff. Could probably use a big storage chest to describe this as well. And then... I would like the first set of those over here. I think. Maybe up here instead. Or how about... How about we put all of our plate things over here? The train would have to go slightly further from the depot, that's probably fine. Yeah, probably fine. Ingots don't have to come up that often, because they're so dense. So we'll start here. Let's get our construction train involved. Let's empty our construction train and let the bots out. The difference on scaffolding for right to left? What do you mean by that? You can remove unused, but in editor extensions it doesn't know what is unused, precisely. Luna Epicura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it possible to fill the whole thing, remove them? Yes. If I physically build it in space first. That depot looks full. This one? Um... You may be right. Oh, crap. And we've got two trains <laughs> waiting to get into the depot. Okay. All right, let's make another one. Uh, where's the depot? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed, indeed. All right, I wanted to add substation pylons to our train. To Why do you still have logistic? I'm going to have it wait as well. 30 seconds. So wait till empty and then 30 seconds. And hopefully that gives the bots time to come back and not have... I don't know, maybe they picked it up right after the train came back over here. Uh, anyway, let's get some power poles. That is to say pylon... And pylon. With the size of our rail blocks, I honestly don't know when we're going to be using regular pylons. But we'll hold on to them regardless. Uh, why do we have none in the network? I didn't already put them in here, did I? Oh wait, this is a buffer chest and they're probably all in here. I see pylon substations. Are we not able to make the lighted ones? I did tell it to make lamps, surely. Yeah, we did. Lamp. There's 235 lamps. I forgot to put this pre rec in here. Here's the problem. There we go. Lamps are on the way. Here comes the first one. And now we start to get our lighted pylons. Fantastic. Don't call me Shirley. Okay. I heard from another streamer that the pylons have construction in them. Because a fair bit that cause a fair bit of lag. Uh, you might be thinking of uh, 
construction pylons. Where are they? Oh, we don't have the tech yet. Um, here it is. Construction pylons and radar construction pylons basically act like, kind of like roboports, but they've got only one, um, I think it's disabled by default. I turned it on last time, and in some ways it was a mistake. Uh, they've got like one little tiny roboport, uh, robo charging port. The only problem with that is there's nothing in the programming to say only one bot is allowed to queue up to charge at the radar construction pylon. So when you get 50 bots waiting to recharge, they'll all come to the radar construction pylon regardless of what else is available to recharge. Um, but I'm, I guess if you cover the entire map in construction area, that might not be good for UPS. But we're not going to be doing that. Okay. Did we get any substations? We did. Beautiful. Um, let's start by building our new depot. I didn't even notice I went over 18 different resources going up through the space elevator. How's our consumption been on the cables? Uh, what? Not space science pack. Space elevator cable. Why can't I find it? I've got it over here. Oh, we haven't been producing it for a while? Or is it just not highlighted over here? Space elevator. There we go. Um, we've we've been producing it in very short bursts, relatively. But more to the point, one hour versus ten hours is really not what I need for the graph. But it looks like our consumption has just been really, really consistent. Uh, I guess that's to be expected. So we're consuming about 3.5 per minute. Hmm, that's a bit more than I was expecting, but still nothing to worry about. Definitely not worried. It's totally saturated, that's why we're not producing. We produce in bursts because a train comes and picks it up in bursts. There is a mod which... Uh, allows to add tiles under each object in blueprint. Blueprint tools, indeed. Hey, research finished. I bet there's something else under energy too that we'd like to knock off. That's probably kind of cheap. Add-on power pole is kind of nice sometimes when we're making spaceships. Portable RTG Mark II? I didn't know we even had portable RT RTG. Uh, there you go. 800 kilowatts versus 2.4 if we just put some uranium fuel cells in and they get consumed at a unbelievably short pay, uh, short rate. Um, I think the RTGs are actually 4x4 four four as well. So they're kind of just strictly worse. Um... Even for my tastes, like, I really like my infinite sources of stuff that I don't have to worry about anymore. But the portable nuclear reactor consumes fuel so slowly that I just never even think about it. Uh, and we get, what, four times as much power out of it. Uh, but how much does this one do? 1.2 megawatts, so half of what I've already got, but I wouldn't have to worry about fuel. Don't really care, to be honest. Personal laser defense mark three. 
We've got destroyer capsules, and we've got enough of them. I'm not too worried. Uh, better adaptive armor would be good, though. Let's knock that off. It doesn't even cost energy science. Compact beacon. Oh, it costs 500. I might put that off for a bit. Let's get Energy Catalog 3 knocked off before we get around to doing Energy 3. And I'll definitely take some Inserter Capacity Bonus. Um, that'll do for now. Alright, up the elevator we go. Always for nice running around with a tiny nuclear reactor in your back? Yeah, of course. Don't leave home without it. All right, um, do I have, does this blueprint just not have the scaffolding? Yeah, it doesn't. Let's copy tiles. I won't worry about removing the parts that we won't need in a minute. Let's just get that placed first. And how about some pylon substations? Actually, let me do this real quick. Oh, I know. I can copy it like this. Uh, create copy. Remove everything else. And I'm hoping the same snap to grid will work for the pylon substations. Let's find out. That looks good. Alright, how many did we bring? 27, we need 8, 9 per... well, Round it down, but 9, 18, 36 ish. Let's just do this block first. Nice to. And that is total coverage with electricity. And then we can just copy paste this, I think. Looking good. Uh, we need a bunch of regular train stops. 18 to be precise. And we won't be needing any old power poles in this block. Which means we won't be needing this bit of scaffolding. Which now looks very out of place. As for let's just let's just put this here and then remove what we don't need. Flat solar panels. That looks pretty good. I want to make this part standard. Oh, except for all of those bits of scaffolding.
Now which blueprint did I just make? This one... That is a not insignificant amount of power to just casually include in each block. Alright, so we've already got our trains in here. Are we missing anything? I don't think we actually need any of that red wire, do we? Nope. Let me update this one as well. How many more substations do we have? Enough. Let's get rid of all these old things. Not sure how I'm going to do the depots that do need a wire going everywhere. The LTN depots. Let's drop in our substation pylons, and we'll grab this thing, this goes here, this goes here, and so on. And I might have to give the construction train a hand, uh, because it's full of Always full of destroyed logistic parts. I don't like it. Alright, give me some scaffolding. We don't have any, actually. Actually, we should have picked up... Yeah, we've got more scaffolding. I don't know. We're probably ne negative on scaffolding since we came over here, but... Since we updated, rather definitely negative since we came here. Don't tell me we're one short. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. I think we might be one little bit of scaffolding short here. Uh, regardless, our trains do have a place to go now. Let's get you back to the mall. I think I'll catch a ride, actually. Try not to die. There we go. Hey, Veldak, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I did some math on my base, and to reach the goal, I will need at least 1 million water per minute. Wow. Literally, a, well, I don't know how much one water actually is. If it's one liter, that's a megaliter. Okay, give me a sec. Achieved. 
And let's reload our train. At this rate, I should probably... Unfortunately, I can't whitelist more than this. I don't think we're picking up random coal, stone, wood, and fish over here, though. So, why don't we... Do it like that. Did a Logibot just die bringing a dead Logibot over here? Is that emote gone? What emote? The ingot space blueprint got a difference in the placement for the right side to left side on scaffolding? Uh, okay, we'll see. Tiny Goliath, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, are we almost done loading this thing? Just about. I don't think we've actually got, um... Electric boilers being made here. Hey, we have beacons. Well, soon to have beacons. Uh, let's throw boilers in with this lot. And do we actually have the prereqs in here? Copper, steel, heat shield, probably yes, and regular pipe. I don't think we have regular pipe here. Regular pipe. Let's put it here. Um, and I guess we'll have to make a little bit of regular pipe. in order to make that work. Fantastic. Why do we only have 50 copper? Reasons, probably. Alright, are we done loading? Pretty much. This is actually looking too full. Why is there scaffolding in here? I should probably request a few more flat solars now. Now that we're going to be placing them all over the place. It's probably fine for now. Let's bring our train back in between these two. And wait for impossible condition. Captain True, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bokhaza, welcome also. You make me want to play Factorio again, except I'm not that good. Well, you'll get better. Of course. Are you eventually going to rail block science production? Yes. Um, I've already rail blocked the tech cards down here. Uh, I think that's every bit of science production directly that we can do on the ground. Uh, looks like these are empty. Um, which reminds me there was a stone mine that I set to... Slash. Hey, uh, Gazownik, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Four months. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. I'm attempting 2.2k SPM in SE.5. Uh, why 0.5, if I may ask? Is it just because, like, you're still on 0.5? I don't remember setting a solid rocket fuel. Um, oh, did I just drop off some solid rocket fuel here once? That might be why. Anyway, uh, let's finish this. And apparently we still didn't bring enough solar. Not too worried about that though, to be honest. 
if I'm not going to fill everything with scaffolding, the solar panels actually give a nice uh, consistent spot to to stop where I know I'm not going to get hit by a train. It is barely visible on the map as well. Anyway, uh, we got our new depot. Uh, we were going to build this thing over here. Let's get to it. Wait for inactivity. And go. Actually, probably wait a bit longer than that. Because I'm going to have to issue more orders. Probably going to need more scaffolding as well, because I got carried away uh, with the solar panels. Because if you have fun and don't... Yes. Mizuzi, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is the reason you decided to go with vanilla trains for Space Elevator instead of the compatibility mod? Uh, because I'd given it some thought ages ago and wanted to see if my solution would work, was one reason. Just asking so I know what to go with when I'm at that point. Uh, if the if the mod works for you, and that's what you want to do, by all means. I also am generally hesitant to add mods in the middle of an extremely long playthrough that I'm doing on stream. I don't want to find myself in a position where something's broken and I have to remove it and things are still broken, basically. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think I probably shouldn't have gone that overboard with the scaffolding. I could always remove some, but I don't know exactly where all of it goes. How about this? I, I think I kind of want some consistency with where the extra solar panels are as well. You could split the blueprint? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, put this in here... I don't know why the scaffolding below the um, bulk rail loaders disappears in the blueprint, but it is not terribly helpful. Have the solar and additional scaffolding on its own, yes. Uh, and we can probably get rid of that as well. Why don't I just fly back and get some more scaffolding while the bots are doing that thing? Up we go. Adaptive armor is almost a third done. Alright. Give me some more scaffolding. I know there's more lying around somewhere. Uh, this this will do for now, I guess.
Luna Epicura. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you have a tip for designing rail slash city blocks? Whenever I try these, I mess up in some way or another. Um, not really. I really felt like I kind of got a little bit lucky um, when I designed these ones back in early on in this uh, playthrough. Um, I basically just went, okay, I want to do the rail blocks I did last time, but a bit smaller. And I want to fit, um, I want to be able to fit a short train, two, uh, two cargo wagons here without blocking this one. Uh, with the train stops close together in the middle. Um, and I wanted to have, like, typically two uh, wide area beacons, like one for each side, would fit very well. And it just sort of worked itself out this time. It's a, it's a product of iteration, though. Why are these not connected? Oh, I see. Also, I should probably get my scaffolding in range over here. Fantastic. Should probably carry some space rail as well. Not that this part's strictly needed yet. And let's grab our blueprint. Oh, does this include the scaffolding? It's gonna mess everything up again. Yeah, uh, why don't I jump over here again? I'm just gonna remove all of this extra stuff that I added. I don't totally love the look of it either, but it's really more the extra effort that it takes to build it. Things like concrete and scaffolding add up very, very quickly to give the bots a lot of work to do and to have to bring many stacks of stuff. Oh wait, I do want that part in there. That's totally fine. I don't think I mind these extra solar panels here either. Alright, let's update our blueprint. I can't actually do that because we've got side on bulk rail loaders slash unloaders. So we're just going to create blueprint from scratch. And we're going to say ingot to plate. Uh, storage, I guess. Space rail. Uh, and I forgot the snap to grid. Alright, cool. Who's that? And we should be able to just put it down here. Apparently I missed removing some of the scaffolding. It's fine. Your top right scaffolding is one higher than the top left side. Is it though? In the blueprint. Oh, the old version? If I may come with a tip, pick a size as your basic yardstick. Generally either the size of the trains you want. Yes, exactly. Or some material you, uh, you use to build the blocks, like robot Definitely. Um, like, what's the most important 
thing for you that you have in mind for this particular iteration of rail blocks. What do you want it to most neatly fit with? It could be substations, roboports, trains. Uh, Kappa Beast actually articulated something that I absolutely agree with but didn't think to say. we not have any more solar panels here? I guess not. Let's bring our train over this way for a sec. Before we go back. Um, and I might just pick these up. That looked kind of weird. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just let the train go back. I want to configure these. I think they're already configured, though. Except that I switched these off so the stop wouldn't work the moment that it's built. So now we just need to add vanilla trains for these resources. I think. Let's start with Iron Ingot. Where am I going? And where are we picking up Iron Ingot? Here and here, looks like. Let me just make sure. We've got one, two, three. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. That's for delivery cannons from Nalvis. Um, but I think I'll just do these two and see how that goes. We're gonna need some... I'm not actually gonna get vanilla trains to bring iron plate up through the space elevator. So we'll just do it like this. And we'll need to get the construction train to pay those to a visit. That should be enough. Uh, and fat boy not so slim. I think I saw you before today. Nope. My days are blurring together. Uh, anyway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It feels a bit weird that I completely built this in the... Um, uh, in the editor, including... Including the settings. Whereas, I did like a template and then had to change things with the other one. Alright, let's go get some speed modules. Fallen asleep? Oh yeah, I remember the pizza. Been here all day since one minute into stream, but fell asleep. Fair enough. That makes sense. Well, welcome back. Uh, give to me... Now I want pizza. I often make a homemade pizza before the stream, so I have something to eat that doesn't take any prep on a break. But I didn't have time today. Okay, in we go. And... Speed... I'm sure those are overkill, but that's fine. Uh, Alright, so we need our vanilla train. Iron ingot. Uh, and iron ingot. Fantastic. Wait for full. Wait for empty. 
and get to it. And of course it goes straight for uh, this one that, I don't know, how easily can I configure these? I guess just as easily as usual, actually. We go. Forty five spider to run, forty five spider to run, forty five spider. Indeed. Uh, thank you very much for the five months. Much appreciated. And good to see you again. Very much appreciate y'all spending your prime on little old me. Uh, I don't want it to look like this. These two are connected, so let's put this back here. And this one, uh, I guess the equivalent is this spot. Hype, indeed. It's a nice emote. All right, iron ingot. This goes here. The overlapping stations makes it a little tricky to see what's going on. But it's nothing different to what we've been doing before. Uh, basically, if we have ingots greater than some amount... What do they stack to? 50. Say... a train load and a half. Then arbitrarily set the train limit to practically infinite. And for LTN... Don't pick up unless we've got a couple of train loads. That should be fine. Uh, and then I have to do the same thing for all of this. Uh, wait, I only need to do the same thing for stuff that's going to go up through the space elevator. Um, but so far that's everything on this side. It's probably going to end up being everything, isn't it? Uh, what is this called? They have individual station names, so I can't just copy paste. I can, however, copy paste the settings and then just change this for the ingots. This stacks to a hundred, so we'll want to double this one. Meanwhile, did we get iron ingots into space? Yes, we did. Uh-oh. This is supposed to be steel. Okay, let me go fix that. Uh, I'll put a bunch of crap into my logistic trash slots. And we'll take the iron ingots, put them in here. That wasn't that many. Alright, that's actually all of them. That wasn't too hard. So now we have iron ingots and plate. How fast does this go? 52 per second is not too bad. If we want more throughput, I think we should just make more stations. Um, well... We could probably just keep giving it faster. Or we could use beacons as well. Where would a wide area beacon fit? 
I like that I can select this here now. Uh, we couldn't quite cover all of them with just one. That's a little sad. But we can definitely cover one half of the block with each. So we could have these go super fast, that's not a problem. But it wouldn't be the worst idea, if we need that kind of throughput for iron plate, to have trains picking it up from multiple locations. Hey, here comes more ingots. Beautiful. Alright, let's do copper. Put down a vanilla train. And... We've actually got a lot of copper ingot production here. Oh, I didn't actually do this yet. Whoops. Uh, let me just copy from up here, where we got distracted. And then this part can be unconditional, as long as that's limited to 40. And this is looking for two train lengths. Just like this one. Alright. Papa is already set up correctly over here. So let's put that there. And there. And there. Are we sure we made enough copper smelting? For where we're up to? And let's park ourselves here, and then just to be sure, here, and here, and here, and then back to the mall. Menu log, $15 off code for pizzas delivered tonight, dinner secured, nice. I wouldn't mind if you cut stream early for pizza too, unable to comply, the show must go on. Uh, I wish I could have the radars, like the super radars, without the scanning. I know it's not much, but I'm sure that's costing a little bit of UPS. I just, the only reason I want the radars is so that we can see things for LTN screensaver. Anyway. We should now be able to set up our... Uh, wiring here. Whoops. And then set train limit to ingot. This part's unconditional. Looks good. Let me just change one thing at a time with every station. And then... Is there? Goes there. Wait, what? No, I didn't remember it. Oh no! Construction train. No, it's gonna have to wait till it gets its combinators back. Could I set it up this way? Turn it off. Tell it to park here. Tell it to do that after. And... I don't really have a way to... Wait, what? It already left, didn't it? No? What? Di I'm so confused. I could have just waited for this to get done instead. Uh, 
Oh, I know. I could have set this condition to B cider combinator greater than zero. And then we can just delete that for next time. Cool. I'll bear that in mind in future. Now then, we've still got some settings to change here. Oh, and don't forget this one. Double train load required for LTN, very important. And here as well. All right, let's check our wiring. That should not be connected yet. And the rest looks pretty good to me. Okay. Um, and then we need our vanilla train. Copper ingot. Why is there an iron and copper ingot requester? Oh, it's a requester. That's why. Copper ingot. Copper... Copper ingot. Do, do these stations not have the right name? They do. Copper ingot provider. What? Why? Oh, there it is. For some reason it's above this one. All right, wait till full, wait till empty, and off you go. And I guess just because it's closer, for the first trip it's going to priority take from Nalvis. But once it gets back into the groove of this, it'll probably go over here instead. Um, let's get these rail blocks finished. Just so that the trains have a shorter trip here. And it looks like... Hmm. We might have to get rid of this part. Until we get rid of that oil. Sentinels don't scan? Yeah, they are very small, though. A giant sentinel, that'd be nice. Or just have the trains um, able to take care of that stuff themselves. Um, how about I park you over here? Yeah, I'll start over here instead. Okay, so do we already have copper ingots? We do, fantastic. Iron ingot. I might just put the ingot symbol and not worry about the plate. The plate is just kind of implicit. And steel. Uh, let's add our vanilla train so it gets refueled before we're ready for it. Steel. There's probably only one. Well, not counting the Nalvis one. Yeah, there's only one pickup for steel. Uh, in ingot form, that is. Let's get... Oh, why don't I copy-paste from up here? First I'll make sure it's set up correctly. Seems good. Steel ingots. 
disconnect this for now. And where's our construction train? Oh, it's still building over here. Um, I don't really want to wait. Could you please build this first? And then come back, I guess? Fantastic. A toggle on the radars would be nice, indeed. Maybe make them work a little bit like Crestorio 2 uh, Roboports, where you have the option for a wider constant range, but you don't get the scan. Or you could have scan only, but it goes really, really far. Okay, set train limit to steel ingot, and that's already good. Fantastic, that's a lot of steel. A lot, a lot of steel. Okay. So, we should be good to go already with our steel ingot train. Empty cargo, full cargo, off you go, and of course it just goes over here. There's actually a few combinators here that haven't been built yet. That should do it. Now if this is actually still sending quite a bit of stuff. Surprisingly, a lot of stuff, considering... What are we missing here? Iron plate? Wait, we're sending iron ingots to Nalvis, but we have no iron plate on the main bus on this planet. Um, that's fascinating. Also, as is often the case, we have a million trains queued up around the storage area. Um, are you trying to pick up coal? You are. How did you get here if there wasn't enough coal to pick up? Oh, I see. It's the old designs. Okay. That'll probably fix it for the moment, I guess. I'm surprised Nalvis is still standing as ing uh, ingots in that case. I'm particularly surprised, though, that the main bus on Nalvis has no iron, while we are saturated on ingots and sending ingots at quite a pace to Hagen. That is surprising to say the least. So how does this happen? We've got iron ore here. Priority isn't anything abnormal. Uh, and we should have a request for iron ore down here somewhere. Uh, I think I had to put it way up here though. Iron plate. Okay. So this should be a build that just makes iron plate. There's plenty of iron plate. Huh. I realize we've been out of trains for a while. Maybe that's all it is, but why iron specifically? No, this doesn't... There's iron plate here. I think it doesn't make it to where it's supposed to go. Huh? 
Oh, I misread it. Okay. Iron plate. There is iron plate. Oh, I misread this. God damn it. It's copper plate that's the problem. Okay, so same question. Um, why no copper plate? This one does request copper plate. All right. Copper plate. Did we actually just never build a regular copper plate smelter? And we went straight to enriched. And we're not requesting iron. Uh, we're not requesting copper ingots in the old main bus. No, copper plate was literally the first. Um... There's a train trying to get here now. What the hell? It's delivering copper as we speak. So it was probably just a shortage of trains. Yeah, copper plate was literally our first rail block. Okay. Further down, indeed. Okay, well then... I like how I did this build that does rare metals out of either recipe, but we never got any vulcanite blocks apparently. Are we still using the same one? Yes, we are. And apparently there's still no vulcanite blocks. We're looking for 10k. Well, there's your problem. I think I assumed the stack size was 100 and didn't pay enough attention. So we've been making rare metals the inefficient way this whole time. But honestly, considering how much rare metal was available but Vulcanite wasn't, um, that's probably fine. Meanwhile, Vulcanite blocks are a little scarce. Not too bad, though, looks like. Okay. What are we missing over here? Some flat solars? Meanwhile, we do have steel here. Fantastic. Let's do barrel. And then we'll move on to something else. Um, there should only be a couple. It's literally just here. I thought this was also beryllium ingots. Oh, there's just none in here, because we're prioritizing the plate on this build. I could probably stop doing that now. Um, regardless, seems like Beryl's not doing so well. Has it changed? Beryllium plate. Uh, beryllium ingot, beryllium plate. Uh, 30 minutes ago it completely crashed. Yeah, it hasn't been doing so well for a while. Where's our ingot production over here? Ingot production literally stopped, like, almost six hours ago. So we've been living off what we had left for that long. Uh, let's have a look. We never actually sent this barrel home. Launch on cargo, f cargo full. It is full. It needs liquid rocket fuel. Um, is liquid rocket fuel completely busted? Or is it just slow? We've got no light oil. Um, heavy oil. There's no water. But there is water here. Are the trains busted? We have, I think, only one fluid wagon, but it is functional. It's got plenty of fuel. 
Um, it looks like this belt is busted. But this train didn't run out of fuel yet. So that's not actually the... That's a problem, but not the problem. Why is there a train stop here? Okay, that that part needs to go. Is there a bot in range to fix that? Doesn't look like... Yes, it, there is. Um, and this should probably just go here. Um, but problems that haven't actually caused problems yet aside, why are we not... There's water in here. We set it up so that trains didn't have to deliver water. Heavy oil... Oh, I think I know... Oh, no. We haven't been cracking, so we got too much heavy oil because I didn't connect this one wire. That's why we've had no barrel for... Well, no new barrel for 6.5 hours. A single mis uh, missing connection. That's all it took. So now we'll be getting some light oil, which means we'll be getting some liquid rocket fuel, which means we'll be sending back barrel core fragments. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I wouldn't say that was overconfidence. That was just something that was easy to overlook. And let's change this back. I'll force a delivery of light oil so we get some liquid rocket fuel. How much do we get? Um, if 100 light oil becomes one solid rocket fuel, it's basically 50%. Uh, it's not going to be enough to trigger... Actually, how much is this? 32k. So about 16k. 23 plus 16. It's not enough to trigger a delivery unless I change this. Sub-icons when? Sub-icons when? Uh, I'll have to have a look at that. I had some... I had a lead on, on where I wanted to get some emotes. And I think I have to change my plan, frankly. Um, soon TM. Like space... Like spaceships last time. Maybe a bit sooner than that. Let's get another one of these trains here. We know we're going to need it. We haven't actually done the barrel yet. Um, we need a decided company tour. But yeah, uh, Kellogg's, thank you very, very much for the resub. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I'm going to set up these two stations to work the same way. Um, now that we're at this stage. So I think it was... Yeah, green wire to these. And there has to be 4,000. We have to have enough ingots before we make plate, basically. Except I'll want to adjust that to 6,000, I think. I think it's 6,100. It has to be a little bit extra. So, enough for a vanilla train to pick it up. And I'll set this to a couple of train loads. Uh, assuming there's anywhere that we're actually sending ingots on the ground with LTN. Let's grab our construction train. Pay those two a visit. That should be all it takes. Um, but after that I would like to go 
over here. And we'll wait for inactivity this time. And here it comes. We can... Oh, I actually need a wire connection before I can change the settings on this one. Uh, we're not getting barrel from Nalvis, but I can take the numbers at least, so I don't have to think through that again. It stacks to 100 though, so we have to double it. Set train limit, beryllium ingot. By the way, there's really no reason to set the train limit so high. Uh, I'm literally just doing that so I don't have to add a constant combinator. Just set some arbitrary train limit, like 5 or 10. So if there's more than 12k beryllium ingots, set train limit to that. And... LTN provides stack threshold, 160. Fan and furthermore, Tastic. That should not connect. Oh, yes, it should. It looks a little weird at this angle. So the front connects to the actual train stop, and the back connects to the ingots and connects to the logistic train stop input. Well, I'm glad we found that before it actually stopped science or something. Um, I know that we put an awful lot of barrel into orbit so that it would take more than that. But still. Um, so I, I guess we're not going to see... We're not going to see this working immediately. I guess I could force one delivery at least, just to make sure, but this is probably fine. Wait till empty, wait till full, and I'll send it to the depot on the ground side. where we will only ever find trains for resources that are going slow. It's kind of handy. Uh, any resource that is being undersupplied in space, we can just find our trains here. I'm surprised battery is still not caught up. We haven't had any trouble producing them, it doesn't look like. Nope, we've been extremely concerned. There was a spike in the last... between the last hour or two. It wasn't all bad. But yeah, we. I guess we've been pretty consistent making them. I guess I could prod module and double this. I'm really not worried about iron and copper very much, though. Um, let's get some... Well, first of all, let's get this crap out of our train. How are there blank data cards in the train? This construction train feels like a strange pet that gets up to weird things while I'm not looking. Probably, probably logistic bots storing blank data cards way over here for some reason. And then they crash and fall out of the sky and the blank data card is on the floor. Started making the big beacons yet? Uh, I don't think so. What does it take? Beacon. 
Uh, it needs energy control unit, which I haven't made yet. We also need an energy catalog. That's not a big deal. Immersium plate, I think I've already brought up here. Fantastic. It's a resource that I haven't even used yet, I don't think. And we've got so much of it because of that. What does it go into? Beam. I think I saw what it goes into that we have been using it for. Here we... Oh. Oh, hold on. It goes into beam. That has the same stack size, so... It would be more efficient to bring those up. Or you can also get prod bonuses from them, I forgot. Uh, or one-to-one... Two to one or one to one beam or gear wheel, but that ignores prod bonuses for stack efficiency. Uh, it does go into wide area beacon optimization research data. That's what we've been using them for, which is not a whole lot. But yeah, for the most part, it's been a resource that we just don't worry about. All right, can we get our... Uh, I heard an explosion. Which means we probably have another dead construction bot in the train. And whatever it was carrying. All right, let's send our train down here. Wait for a passenger. And... And then... All right, could I perhaps just do a little test? Um, let's set this to 12 instead. Brain should be on its way. I just want to see the beryllium ingots get where they're supposed to be going. Construction bots crash too? No, it is only the logi bots. But the construction bots will jump out of the train, pick up the dead logi bots, pick up whatever the dead logi bots were carrying and drop those items back into the train uh, is the problem. That's why there's always random crap in our construction train. Oh, I see. Um, off you go. And let's change this back. And we can soon confirm our latest uh, space elevator train is working as intended. Up we go. Into the depot. And then off to drop this stuff off. Fantastic. I guess I should put a depot here already. And again, um, it's just going to go to the nearest depot spot. It doesn't, like, think about where it's going to have to go later. Regardless, there's our beryllium plate. How is the flow looking... Back on Exorion. We got 34k liquid rocket fuel. I don't think there's been enough to trigger a delivery yet. We need pretty much exactly one liquid rocket fuel delivery for each launch. Oh, hey, this is filling up, which means there was a barrel launch. Fantastic. Nice. That'll get things moving. Right then, what's next? Let's add our tag here. Or oh, beryllium ingot. And it looks like we built all those solar panels. I definitely like how that looks on the map. All right, let's jump in. Go back to the mall while I can't think of anything else right now. 
at empty, no thoughts. We've got one resource other than ingots that I can squeeze in here. Uh, we've already done beryl, steel, copper, iron. I think I'll probably put rare metals. Or maybe rough storage in that slot. I'm thinking rare metals. Rare metal. Switch that on. And... Come to think of it, I could have done it here so that we don't need the constant combinators as well. But I kind of like how I can just turn that off to make sure this doesn't work until we're ready. Alright, once more with feeling. I know this is a bit repetitive, but we are laying the foundation for a much easier and consistent and cheap logistic system. So fortunately, unfortunately, Rare Metals doesn't have a more dense uh, way to move them around. We're gonna empty cargo here, full cargo here, doop a doop, and off you go. And I didn't actually set this up yet. 12k. Oh, that's actually correct. Never mind. Let's set this one up while we're here. Um, set train limit to heat shield. Set train limit to LDS. And let me go copy in here. That looks really weird. That's a bit better. And they have the same stack size. Wait, this was before I decided I should wait for a train load and a half. Let's make that 6,000. And 6,000. I guess there was no reason to go copy-paste. Uh, and I already updated those. Alright, let's update this as well. 6k. And 6k. What is this train doing? What are these several trains doing? You're looking for sand? You're... So that's a traffic issue, apparently. Shouldn't be a traffic issue. I guess it's waiting for these to move through. What What are you up? This is a short train. It's looking for 40... Oh, this is the old T equals zero. That's a terrible idea. Just do it this way. And set the provide stack threshold to a couple of train loads, I guess. And is that what all of this was about? Looks like it. Let's go over to our other build. Looks like everything's getting sorted out. Looks like this traffic jam backed things up more than expected. Wow, that was fast. So that's a lot of cargo rocket sections that need to be delivered all at once. Just because we've been waiting all this time.
Did you get the LTN for Space Elevators mod? I did not. Kissing wallets. Good to be... Good to be. Good to be seeing you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You appear to spend a lot less time in this run through fixing things. I suppose so. Uh, I have some efficiencies for you. Here we go. Make that thing stop flashing. Looks like our LTN train has settled down. Fantastic. Uh, Alright, so we've done rare metals, right? It should be right here. Beautiful. It's actually already full. And our rare metals train should be chillin' over here somewhere. Unless it's doing its last delivery now. Rare metal train, where could you be? Heading back to the space elevator. Suddenly there's trains everywhere. I think it's because I fixed that traffic jam. And they're still catching up. It's actually a surprising amount of traffic. What the hell? Even considering what we just fixed. What is that mod you use to design blueprints? Editor extensions. Uh, and if you want to have the separate surface during your main game, uh, what you want to do is go to per player mod settings. So settings, mod settings, per player, and down under editor extensions, the last option is called testing lab. And if you don't want to cheat, uh, it'll tell you with a mouse over here that you should probably turn off this setting that synchronizes your inventory uh, and cursor between those two modes. But should you accidentally send your construction bots to this place, your personal construction bots, uh, you could turn that on temporarily to get them back. Hypothetically, we definitely have never needed to do that. Um, it's definitely not a mistake that I would make several times. Don't worry about it moving on rapidly. What are you looking suspiciously for? <laughs> Only problem I've had with editor extensions is the lab doesn't work with rockets. Yeah, uh, I believe it's anything where you can interact with other surfaces uh, that they won't let you do in that mode. But if you start uh, editor extensions save in and of itself, you can do whatever you want. Socrat Socrat is caught. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's what I've understood too, indeed. Um, what should we do now? I kind of, I think now's a good time for a break. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of blanking, etc. So let's fire up some LTN screensaver. Just went to an empty planet surface and worked there. An empty planet? Fair enough. Uh, let's fire up the old words on stream. If it wants to load. A planet I haven't done anything on yet. Fair enough. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hopefully with my voice a bit more functional. And good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. Literally every single word. Nicely done. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Wait, did I pause it? Just in case. Yep, we're good. Okay, where are we? Um, continuing the little bit of a slog of putting more and more resources into space. Getting kind of close to the end of what we need right now, I think. Um, I haven't actually built the fluid one yet. Let's just put a bunch of scaffolding here, and we'll remove what we don't need after that. And I'll grab some scaffolding myself. I'm helping, indeed. Uh, here we go. I didn't think I would actually set it up so that I'm using this mall way down here, but it works out okay. Let's go scaffolding. And I should have enough to finish all this. So, a bunch of rail, apparently. Uh, let's just leave you here until I'm ready. And let's grab our blueprint uh, for the fluids. Oh, and while we're at it, let's update this to use pylon substations. Don't need no corner scaffolding. It's Morbin time? Morbin? What? Zura? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get rid of the old scaffold. And that means you as well. Fantastic. And Zura, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Why am I carrying a single atomic data? I literally have no idea how this happened. Uh, anyway... I think in the nav set I've got this blueprint. Fantastic. This solar panels actually make it really easy to see where the middle is. That one's already done. Up we go. Wait, where is it? Over here? think we left out something important. There we go. Also, how about some solar panels over here? Beautiful. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I've got more than enough scaffolding here. Probably because your factory is haunted by ghosts of dead bots. Uh, they get, they, they they get reincarnated, so it's probably fine. Uh, where's our train? How about you park up here, actually? And 
and then solar panels. Not there. And go. Fantastic. I think I added way, way more. Um, why don't I have any iron? I think I know the answer. Way more scaffolding than was necessary, even if it's just temporary. Logibot dropped the atomic data and you happen to pick it up on the ground. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, anytime you have these separate, like, personal logistic networks, they really don't interact well with the dead bots. Hey, you know what we don't need here? Um, is these lighted substations. However, we do need... We do need the circuit wire to be able to reach for the LTN train stops. Hmm. What's the best way to do that aesthetically? There isn't one? That is in the right place, right? Yeah. Uh, I could do a tiny power pull, just for the hell of it. I'm pretty sure the little power pulls count as their own power networks, and it's not good for UPS, though. Supposedly, the more electricity networks you have, even if it's an electricity network of literally just... A power pole existing here, uh, it's actually, like, not good. Shmua, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More tanks? I guess I could. It would potentially slow the flow of fluid a bit more when we don't have that much available. Uh, I think I'll just... Uh, I could make a little exception to our usual layout of power poles here, I guess. Hold up. No, I couldn't, because these two would interact. Actually, I, I've already done this before. I know a way to make this work. Except this one doesn't reach anyway. Oh, it does now. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six from the middle. And then make this wire less awful. Maybe like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... These two LTN stations are going to share green wire inputs, they're going to act as providers, and they're going to have negative of whatever fluid we're dropping off at the opposite one. So it can never actually reach the provide threshold for whichever fluid it's not supposed to have. And it's not going to look too horrible on the map, I guess. It also doesn't give us any extra arbitrary power networks. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty weird here, though. 
I guess it's not that bad. Alright, so what are the first four fluids that we want to bring up? I noticed that we have four things that we put into barrels. There's also water ice. Would it be better to bring 50,000 water or the amount of water ice we can fit into a train? Uh, does anyone know... It tells us based on item stacks, but what does it cost to send a fluid wagon uh, through the space elevator? I actually have no idea. Let's imagine it treats a full fluid wagon as equal to a full cargo wagon. Um... If we have 50k, my guess would be ice for sure, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's incredibly dense to send ice. I really would be surprised if it was better to send water. Um, stacks to 200, and each ice gives us 100 water, right? Where are we melting our ice? I don't remember. What spaghetti nonsense is this? Here we go. Uh, one ice becomes a hundred water. Okay. So two hundred hundred water. Uh, Twenty thousand is what we get for a stack. Uh, so two and a half stacks equals a fluid wagon. Uh, 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 two and a half stacks of water ice equals two fluid wagons, rather. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess it's more efficient to send it up as water ice. You do have to go through some steps and pay some cryonite to get the water ice. But we've set ourselves up on a cryonite planet. I think we're okay. Um, cryonite wise. It's literally free. So. So I don't think we're going to do water. And we have. One, two, three, four types of barrels that we've already been sending up. Petroleum, light, heavy, and nitric acid. I think I'll do, just because it's uh, kind of similar to the layout that I've dealt with before, with the outputs from our um, oil blocks. I'll do light here, petroleum here. So it's kind of like this. Heavy at the top left, and this one can be nitric acid. Therefore, this one This train station has to recognize it does not have up to 400,000 light oil. Whoops. What? 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 There we go. Uh, this one has to understand it doesn't actually have any heavy oil. And the reason we're able to do such a large negative and not have LTN think this is a request is because our mod settings for LTN have a arbitrarily massive default provide and request threshold, which just never gets met. Uh, and then over here, this is going to be nitric acid. So that is not available... Wait, I'm a little confused. The LTN stations are in the middle. Light oil is here. 
this does have light oil, not heavy. This does have heavy oil, not light. Okay. And then this one does not have nitric acid. Dupa doop. Fantastic. And this one does not have whatever this is. Petroleum. Beautiful. Uh, let's name our stations. This is heavy oil provider, nitric acid provider, light oil provider, and petroleum. Provider. So now we need to make some vanilla uh, fluid wagons with very similar schedules. Uh, I think what I might just do is take our vanilla train here and I'll swap these out for fluid wagons. And I'm guessing it's all going to be pretty much the same. Gonna go to the depot, then gonna come over here, only if petroleum is less than X, it's gonna have a very similar name. What? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, stop, 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 stop. Go back to the depot, please. There you go. I really should blueprint these things with default names like that. Okay, so this is petroleum. This is light oilium. This one is clearly heavy oil. And last but not least is nitric acid. Nice. Let me take our train down here and... Huh. How does it already have the nitric acid stop name? That's weird. Let's start with heavy. Wait for empty, wait for full. That should be fine. No stops with this name exist. What? Heavy oil provider. Are, are you sure? Heavy oil provider. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, no. I've got shared fluid pickup from LTN for these ones. Hmm. I might end up sticking with the model where for stone I get LTN to deliver it to the vanilla uh, pickup station. And with our oil block as it is, because we can't determine what a vanilla train is trying to pick up, um, I might have to get LTN trains to pick up from here. Uh, heavy, light, and petroleum, and take it over, like, here somewhere. And then the vanilla trains will have a very short trip indeed. Uh, as for 
nitric acid, that one's not going to be a problem. The alternative is redesigning the oil block, just so that it has multiple physical pickups, which I guess we could kind of fit, but I'm not a fan if I'm being completely honest. I mean, we only need the one instance of the, the pickup drop-offs for these things. Let's just put it over here for now. Can we fit this like that? Not really. This Holmium is taking its sweet time getting out of the way. Alright, let's go downstairs. Place some more rail signals. And... Did I not place them over here? I did. This part should be a problem. Would it be more efficient to send barrels? Uh, no, I think we did the math on that as well. So, I don't need to use bulk loaders or unloaders here. We're just going to do LTN stop for drop off, vanilla stop for pickup. Again, we can use an LTN stop for the vanilla stop, but I just find it a bit easier to follow this way. Uh, so we're going to have huge storage tank right here and right here. I think you can see where this is going. It's pretty obvious how we want to do our layout. Do I have any substation pylons on me? I do not. I'll just do it like this for now. Oh, we actually need to be able to get this wire across here to LTN regardless. All right, this is going to be a requester. Why am I in the console? There we go. And we're looking for heavy oil. Uh, and once again, we'll want to let LTN know what's in both of these containers together because we really don't need to saturate both of them. Oh wow, that doesn't quite reach. I could use steel. Let's do it. So we should have almost as much throughput from here to here as when the trains drop off or pick up a fluid. Um, Kent is the name of the station. Beautiful. Let's go... No autosave. Uh, let me just copy this uh, naming convention here. I'm going to go heavy oil drop-off into vanilla. Uh, and this one is going to have a very similar... If heavy oil is greater than 50k, then output limit 1, that's fine. It's only going to be one train coming here. It's not like LTN trains will be picking up from these stations. Let's clean up the wires a little bit. And we'll 
basically copy paste this layout for the other fluids. Uh, in fact, let me copy paste this right now so that we don't have the constant combinator switched on. Uh, also, D hose, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. So we've got two more fluids we need to set up like this. Um, and I guess I'll put them right about here. If I can stop being confused. There we go. Actually, that's backward. I wanted the uh, vanilla train to pick up from here. Can't exactly flip it, can I? Is it only because there's no... because there's a rail signal? Or several? Still a rail signal hiding somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I didn't think we could flip it with the train stop. Okay, uh, let's go vanilla train stop here. Turn these around. That's going to go over there. Flip all these things one by one. And... That can go... I'm sure that'll look okay. Nav sat off so I can handcraft. No stations or fluids? What? Alright, so this is... Did I name this one? I did not. I dubbed the not Kent. Uh, oh, we already have our heavy oil here. I gotta be a bit careful. Heavy oil provider. Oh, should be fine to copy that because I haven't made these trains yet. So this one can be light oil. What the hell? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Nope, stop it, stop it. I hope that train will find its way somehow. Uh, it'll probably just drop off its heavy oil over here, which should be fine. No stations or fluids can be flipped. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, the fluids aren't a problem. Everything here is flippable. Okay, and we'll put one more of these down here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming to this exact spot, and then it's going to drop off over there, because it had a temp spot, a uh, temp stop there. That's fine. Whoops. I'm out of rail. Space rail? Nah. We're good. Let's get some regular old rail down here. Should I eventually replace all of my rail with space rail? <laughs> Considering there are no upgrade planner options for that, I think that would be... a bit of a task, to say the least. I kind of like the idea of the whole main base having nothing but space rail, but it would be a colossal task to, to replace it. Okay, which way do I want this one to face? 
I don't think it matters because they can enter here or here. So let's just copy this one. But it would look cool indeed. Only do it for new rails. Well, I'm not going to have a patchwork of regular rail and space rail on the surface. I think that would be worse than either. Oh, no. That actually was light oil. Or at least one of them had light oil. Okay, there's heavy oil in these pumps. So if I disconnect like that... Let's turn this one off for now. Um, let's add a pump here. And we'll just pump our light oil to where it's supposed to be. And not get hit by a train. Is that space pipe? It is too. Uh, power. Bulk loader mod needs a space upgrade? Nah, I think it's fine. It's got eight cargo wagons worth of stuff in it for a, for a cargo wagon with 40, and the space, uh, the space trains only go to 50, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, and then, and then, and then, and then, turn this off, it's already off. Wait, 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 no, leave it off until we fix all of this. Alright, this one is supposed to be light oil. I remember fixing it before, but I thought I was probably too slow. And that we must have got... Uh, that we must have got trains on the way with heavy oil. Where does this even connect? Oh, that's... It looks less weird vertically. I guess. That's fine. Okay, so the light oil in here and here is measured. LTM knows about it. And this one can check if we have light oil. We have to have 50k before a vanilla train is summoned to get the light oil. Beautiful. Fix the station name. And I believe that one's done. Let's not turn it on until... until this is done. That's the wrong way around. How about this way? And we'll just not bother with these ones. Uh, we don't need this part. So this is our LTN stop. Considering where the oil is coming from, that should probably be the other way around. Like we did with the heavy. So I should just copy this. Get rid of all of that so there's no confusion. Should be the middle. Fantastic. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put these back where they belong. And update to petroleum. 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 Double check these again. Fantastic. This should say petroleum. I could do an anything or an anything and genericify these, but I don't really see that as the best idea. 
Looks like we've already drained the light oil from here. Fantastic. So we'll just double check there is no light oil here. Beautiful. Uh, let's make sure we delete that in order. Be absolutely sure we're not wasting any. Cool. Now we can switch this on. And we should be good to switch this one on. Fantastic. These bots are not able to go back. There we go. Construction train can go home. Uh, so now we just need to make trains. We've already made one of them, but we haven't given it a schedule yet. That's why we... Ha yeah, 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 I remember this now. Uh, so, if he... Wait, how did I name these stations? Heavy oil provi... Well, heavy oil provider with vanilla, basically. Heavy oil provider with the vanilla stop. Wait for full cargo. Go for it. That should be fine. Let's make another one. Here it comes. And up the elevator it goes. It's got a bit more of a roundabout path than I would have liked, actually. It's fine. It's a short trip. Into a depot stop. And immediately out to heavy oil requester. Destination full, you say? Probably because I haven't switched these on yet. There you go. Looks like our construction train is having issues again. Let's send it back. Make it wait a minute just to be a bit safer. And that's our heavy oil in space. Cool. Uh, next is light. And wait for empty cargo. Wait for full cargo. And off you go. This one will be petroleum. Just doing them in the order of fluid cracking so I can remember where I'm up to. No path. How do you have no path? Uh, probably because there's a signal missing. Not too complicated. There we go. And... This one was petroleum, right? Empty cargo, full cargo, off you go. Uh, is it... Destination full... Oh, because we didn't have the petroleum here a second ago. Now it says destination full still. Train limit is still zero. Oh, probably because there was like a bit of petroleum in the pipes that wasn't getting measured. Now it's coming. Fantastic. That just leaves... Whoops. 
Why am I looking at an interplanetary map? To go find where we want to add our trains to the rail network. That just leaves... Uh, what was it called? Nitric acid. That's not actually the stop we need. It is... Don't tell me I set petroleum wrong. No, there is no just petroleum pickup. Uh, yeah, this is actually fine. Empty cargo. Full cargo. Off you go. And if we've set up all of that correctly, uh, we should see... Sounds. Koha, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Two months, thank you. Sup indeed. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, well, there's our first three fluids where they're supposed to be. And we should see... There it is. Our vanilla train delivering nitric acid. Straight up the elevator. Subhype, indeed. It's a nice emote. Up the elevator we go. Uh, not before petroleum goes a second time. Throughput through the elevator really isn't bad either. You could probably do, like, 10 a minute at least. And now our nitric acid finds its way to the drop-off. No space-specific trains? Uh, what do you mean? We've got vanilla trains specifically to go through the space elevator, if that's what you mean. That's what all these yellow ones are. And there's our nitric acid. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. What's next? Let's have a look at our reduced list of stuff that we were sending to space via cargo rocket. Uh, there's still quite a few left, but but we're getting there. So water, ice, silicon. I don't think there's a reason to. Well, I could do the math on the stack sizes. There probably is a reason to send. We're not sending speed ones up, surely. Speed module one. Also, dupe a dupe. Wait, what? Speed module. There we go. Uh, it goes into some kind of science. Rocket tech card is on the ground. Optimization research data is not. Uh, so yeah, there is a reason to send specifically speed module 1 uh, through the rail network. I thought I had a spare slot for it, but we put rare metals in there. So we need another one of these rail blocks. Uh, and I think I want to put it here. So. Let's grab our blueprint. Um, which we haven't yet updated to not use the old power poles. Mark fluids on map. Good point. Heavy. Light. Can I just barely make it cover those bits? Pretty much. Petroleum. And night. 
nitric acid. Fantastic. All right, let's jump into the editor and I'll actually upgrade, update this blueprint. It's going to take a moment. There we go. 8.5 UPS. Beautiful. Uh, let's copy those station names. Template for them. Can I put like a question mark here or something? Oh, literally question mark. Perfect. So these are all some kind of vanilla drop-off. And we just have to replace that first symbol. Uh, and all of these have generic provider names. That's fine. All right, so. I need to include the scaffolding. Also, we don't need this nonsense. Gonna need these substations anymore. Let's grab our poorly named blueprint over here. There's our substation pylons. Uh, I also want. I don't think I have. I can't access the navsat from here, so I don't have the blueprint I was using for this. But it's not gonna be difficult to replicate. Let's go. Uh, and I also want some like this. Maybe it would be easier this way. Definitely. Speedrun fail. Let's try again. One, two. No, damn it. Don't have the mouse precision. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good to me. And we'll have some scaffolding. I see. It doesn't actually let us place the scaffolding behind these things. Can I actually place the scaffolding and then place this for the blueprint? That's already that. I have to replace these with space loaders still. So even without... Hey, it didn't place the scaffolding under that. Oh, probably because we can't put scaffolding under these. Like, we, we can't... Uh, the blue loaders don't go where scaffolding is needed. So it wouldn't let us put those down. Okay, let's get rid of these. Can I do a... Decon planet? There we go. Uh, and we're going to want... I'm actually just going to remove all of the bulk rail loaders and unloaders. We're going to have to do the wiring again. But this is the only way to... Uh, to set it up so that the scaffolding is already there in the blueprint. That should be right. We'll probably remove some stuff from the middle. That's fine. Um, and... Starts with unloaders... 
and then it goes to loaders. Right? Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, unloader, loader, unloader, loader. From the outside. And it should, like, link to that already. It seems okay. I hope. Wait, that's, that one's backward. Doesn't strictly have to be one way or the other. I just want some consistency. There we go. And last but not least, we need... Uh, apparently we don't have that... Sp oh. Yeah, we don't have that space loader belt here either. Let me just grab it from upstairs. Save a little bit of effort. Blueprint. Space unloaders and nothing else. Uh, I think they're in the nav set. Should be for the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. Put that in blueprint book. Should probably have a recognizable name. Then jump over to the editor. And this goes approximately here. Why do the outer loaders have space rail, but not the inner one? I don't know. Um, I, I think it's just... Well, I think I do know, actually. So, when we have rail... Uh, when we have rail like this, um, to line up the two uh, bulk rail loaders with the rail, we have to remove three sections of rail here, and two sections of rail here. So I think it's simply that the space rail that actually exists here happens to get drawn on top of the bulk rail loader's rail graphic. And it's really as simple as that. And the bulk rail unloader just happens to have such an appearance that it really doesn't matter. Make sure all of those have rail connections. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, thanks, you're welcome. Um, should probably... By default, have the double throughput. Actually, well, it depends on the stack size. Then again, if we're bottlenecked on two, then we should only have half going to the front, typically, right? That kind of looks better as well, I think. So, don't need that one, don't need that one, don't need that one, don't need that one. Seems good. And I've got our default names and stuff. We've got... Let's have all of these switched off by default, just to be safe. Or, alternatively, I could get rid of the need for the extra constant combinator. I could also get, pardon me, I could also get rid of the need for the extra scaffolding, but I'm not sure, I feel like that looks a little worse. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're just going to say... It's true if there are no inputs. If everything equals 8, we were doing it because of that. 
instead we should say if anything greater than... I can't really make it generic if I'm going to do this to save a combinator. So we're just going to say, like, if iron plate greater than... Uh, equals zero. If something equals zero. Oh, in that case I could just say if everything equals zero. Yeah, that can be generic. Because this is true if there are no inputs. We want it to be anything. It's false if there are no inputs. So if anything equals zero, if there's nothing detected here, output L1, train limit 1. That should be fine. Make sure we connect. I'll do all of the inputs first. And then for LTN, it's a very straightforward. Just connect that to the LTN train stop input. Uh, and set the provide stack threshold high enough so that weird things won't happen. Cool. Um, I think... I dare say that is our blueprint. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, uh, don't forget some scaffolding for the train stops and for the constant combinators. I'll do those after. And that's it. That's a much nicer blueprint. To get these things done now. 86251 is our snap to grid absolute. Um, tiles included, please. Train stop names, yes. And. Uh, I guess I'll include the substations up here. Uh, vanilla to LTN E2. Looks good. Let me give it the same, uh, same icons here. Except we'll add something. In fact, I should just forget calling it V2. We're just going to replace the old one with this. Wait a sec. Did I just... Oh, no. Did I delete something different? Nope. Nope, we're good. Fantastic. Alright, back to space. Where we want to place our new shiny blueprint. And get rid of these old power poles. Shouldn't delete those actually. Where's our construction train? 
It looks as usual, mostly it's ready to go, except there's a bunch of bots hovering over it because of destroyed robots. How many bots are in motion? A few. Uh, more than 50. I'd kind of like to go back to just keeping it at 50 at this point. But it's really only the construction train that's having these issues. Oh cool, we're crashing more bots because they're all moving this stuff around. Fantastic. Please go fill up again. The only other thing I can think of is like... Nah. With multiple cargo wagons, there really isn't a good way to remove just whatever isn't supposed to be in the train. Unless... I could kind of treat it all like one big cargo wagon and just put the same whitelist filters on anything that's not supposed to be on the train. And these will kind of take turns to have the correct filter set, I guess. Hmm... I would have to add up everything that's supposed to be in the train, which wouldn't be difficult. Except that to keep the signals separated, I think I would need three, like, times one combinators. I guess that's fine. Ideas are forming. We're going to do each times one, output each, and we're going to connect those over here. On the red wire we are reading train contents, on this green wire we have everything that's supposed to be in the train. So green wire minus red wire. Right? Each times negative one. On this green wire should be everything that's supposed to be on the train. Uh, minus what's... Uh, everything in the... Everything that's supposed to be in the train minus what's actually in the train. So we've got 9 glass and uh, 206 construction bots. For some reason there's extra construction bots. I can put in a little exception for those, although I don't actually want bonus construction bots. Oh, I set this to 200. I probably copied it from somewhere else. Well, there's your problem. And then... And then we set filters whitelist... on these ones. Probably just set stack size 1 to keep it simple. When outputting the stuff that doesn't belong. Okay. Uh, is it asking for glass? It shouldn't be. Where's this glass? There's nine glass, so we've got a negative of what's not supposed to be in there. I somehow messed that up. Um, we could either do... We could do what's supposed to be in the train times negative one. Versus what is in the train. Times one. And we get... No, we get a bunch of green signals for what is in the train. Uh, positive. We want the contents of the train minus what's supposed to be... Uh, why is this so hard? Probably because I'm a little bit tired. 
Comparing it to the constant combinator of each wagon. Uh, yeah, so I'm adding up all the constant combinators for each wagon. And then comparing that to what's actually in the train. Uh, so we want... I, I did have as a negative the result I was looking for by multiplying what we want times one and what we what we do have times negative one. Uh, surely there's a way to... If I do what we want as a negative and what we do have as a positive... How do we end up with 4k... Hold on. Oh, this what? This is only changing this one. This isn't all three of these. You absolute derp. That's why. So now... Now we have a positive for what's not supposed to be in the train. Uh, and we'll make an exception for construction bots. Peace to keep. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So then we'll just add a constant combinator here. It's kind of hard to see, actually. Uh, to say construction robot... Uh, we can have up to 150 of those. And I think with the construction bots, it's going to be a bit messed up. Actually, like we're not going to end up with exactly 50 bots in each. And we might even end up cycling these because of stack size 2. Yeah, we've got 63 here, 41 here, 46 here. Um, but normally, how does it get imbalanced with the construction bots? Andy Gaming, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. And uh, Pelusil, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again as well. How's your stream? Anyway, let's, uh, let's reload this. Uh, and I kind of want to put something in the train that's not supposed to be there to test it. But I'm sure it won't be too long before that happens organically. Let's try this. Let's move it forward ever so slightly. Maybe a little bit more than that. I just want to move it forward enough that the front cargo wagon is no longer being emptied. That's perfect, actually. We'll put some solid rocket fuel in the cargo wagon. And... May as well put it in the next cargo wagon as well. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. Wait, no, that's not fine. Just go park here where you're supposed to. Alright, so this should remove the solid rocket fuel. And once all of the solid rocket fuel is out, those filters will be gone. And that system should probably recycle any... When we when a robot crashes and these construction bots pick up the pieces, uh, the pieces will be removed from the train. Stream was productive, nice. Up to 2,500 holmium ingots per minute. Is it cheating to say per minute? 41.67 per se... Wait. That doesn't sound right. 41.67 per second? Yeah, no, it must be. Still, that's a lot. Uh, Alright, so our construction train is loaded. It seems to be... Trying to remove... Trying to remove pipe, even though... So it, it, it keeps trying to remove construction bots. 
I'm just gonna completely not have it remove construction bots at all. Uh, Hekiki, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know why it was trying to remove long pipe, though. There's nothing special about long pipe. We're just asking for 50 of that, like any other pipe section. You can probably get rid of that wait 60 seconds thing now. Now that we have a automatic system to correct if things get over full. Um, but yeah, we should see... We should only see positives of things that are oversupplied, which doesn't happen normally. It's only if the bots pick something up. Why are we dropping... Oh, uh, I heard a bot die over here, so maybe that's how we ended up with extra inserters. Cool. And we've got a few extra spaces in each cargo wagon so that bots can do their thing. Nice. Let's move our construction train in range of our build. And I think I might just make it wait for me. Because I have to get it to build the uh, scaffolding and then build again. It's down here. Oh, we also have some stuff to deconstruct. Setup is getting pasted three more times for a grand total of 10k per minute. Nice. Research now going fast? Is it? It might be... No, I was going to say it has something to do with barrel, but we never actually ran out of barrel up here, even though we stopped... Uh, we accidentally stopped our core mining for a while. Bracket barrel will give us core fragments. It's been looking pretty damn good ever since we fixed the one piece of wire that was missing. Uh, that prevented us from cracking heavy oil to light so that we could get liquid rocket fuel. Looks like we are bottlenecked on... Huh. This is full. And ready to launch. We're actually bottlenecked on processing the barrel. Uh, the core fragments anyway. It looks like. What's this guy's problem? Oh. This was before I realized that the invisible inserters don't take equally from this necessarily. Um, I'll just wait for that for the moment, I guess. Actually, this one's also trying to pick up from there. That's really bad. Anyway, for the moment, I'm interested in barrel. Where's the core fragment processing? It's completely saturated. Uh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. I guess that's good. Unless it means something else is busted. No, I think we're literally just bottlenecking on our actual processing, which is perfect, honestly. Wow, that was easy to fix. Uh, it might be a little bit slow for a while, though. Maybe I should put some speed modules over here. Maybe I should bring some wide area beacons. What's our rate? I'm, I know we're bottlenecked here. 0.32, so like 0.64 barrel ingots per second, or 38.4 per minute. So about a stack every three minutes. That's not terribly fast. I still 
prefer being bottlenecked on processing. So we get a really consistent throughput. I'm wrong, research now stopped. <laughs> okay. It probably just got a little burst. Um, here, have some scaffolding. Have some space rail as well. I'm not doing anything with it. Alright, let's get rid of the excess from before. And grab our new blueprint. Looking good. Might want to get rid of this also. And fix this mess as well. Nice. Uh, and of course we didn't bring this many bulk rail loaders. How many are we missing? Eight panels, six and six and eight. I remember doing this before. Uh, I think building eight train stops. Uh, I need six of each of these. I'm not going to be able to build it right now. What am I short on? Iron. I can get that over here. Yoink. Fantastic. Um, I was going to send the train back for solar panels and I realized by the time it comes back it'll probably... Uh, we'll probably have... We'll probably still be handcrafting things. And I'll give it a temp stop back down here again. As soon as it is... Just about done loading. I think electric boiler is one of the last things that get thrown in here. Who will win? My handcrafting... Well, this takes up some space, doesn't it? Can I, like, quickly hide it? I guess that's the only way. That's fine. So how many solar panels is this? Uh, including all four corners. 56, so three stacks. Let's get our train to carry three stacks of flat solars. And at this rate, maybe I should get it to load up more bulk rail loaders and unloaders. It's only carrying one stack of each. Probably only needs two uh, to make this whole block in one go. Also... I don't think we need to load up the old power poles anymore. I'll just set those to zero in case I change my mind. Nah, I'll just remove them. I can always put them back in easily. Uh, and regular train stops, you should probably carry those. Do we have them here? We do not. Probably because... I don't know, actually. Are we, actu are we not actually making train stops here yet? I don't think we are. Alright, we ha we do have sticks in here. I think we can probably... We need red wire, green wire. Let's do it here. Red wire... Green... Wire. Allow. In here. Uh, where 
ISO whitelist. Red wire, green wire. And then we can just make the train stop, I think. Um, make a few mo make a few extra, why not? Sometimes we need a bunch. Uh, 20 should be fine. More stations, indeed. So I guess we were not even producing any stations here. We were just running off of a... No, we do have station production over here, actually. We're just not... Uh, I just transferred it to the... Uh, auto crafter and also we didn't have an output for regular stations we can get rid of this as well wait can we i don't think i did set it up that way um bulk rail loader i think we've already got all the prereqs in here except maybe rail Let's add that here. And I could probably make rail here as well. What's the bonk for? Rail. Allow one to stack in this container. And we could all we could probably make space rail here as well. But I've already got a build over here for it. We'll do that a bit later. Um I don't wanna like summon even more energy catalogue ones over this way. Uh and I was trying to make loaders. Here we go. Make at least 20 of those. Fantastic. Just testing the sounds, fair enough. This is a test bonk. Okay, where are we? Where's our train? It's right here. So why hasn't it built the loaders? We've got five loaders left. Oh, probably because I dropped a bunch of them by handcrafting. And for some reason my robopot was switched off. Probably because I've been in and out of the editor and I don't want the editor to steal my personal robots. Um, it hasn't placed these solar panels. Wait, there's no way we're out of solar panels, is there? Um, I see what happened over here. Let's go fix it. I separated those robot networks and the big robot network doesn't have access to the solar panels at this point.
Yes, I was muted. I wasn't saying a whole lot. Uh, I was just rebuilding this. But I did catch it just in time to be too late. Alright. So that's how flat solar is available to the robot network. Let's just limit those two. And allow short trains as well, I guess. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we get flat solar too? Uh, we need astro too. I don't think I want to go to the trouble of making astro too in the spaghetti. I want that to be in the proper rail blocks. Um, but yeah, we should be getting... I actually need to add a bunch of stuff over here. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll freaking reconnect these robot networks again for the time being. Hello, do you have special solar panels? What are those purple panel machines? The standard panel machines are feeding into. Uh, so this is from Crestorio 2. It's called an advanced solar panel. We need imosite crystal and nitric acid, uh, as well as electronic components to make that happen. And then that fits in between regular panel and flat solar panel. I skipped using this tier because, I mean, it's the same size and the flat solar panel is not very far away. Whoops, no, no, no. Well, it's not like they can actually do this because there aren't any available in the network. Um, so I just immediately put those straight into this machine. Um, let's have a look at our list of stuff that we were sending up via rocket. I haven't done water ice. We've got steel plate. I need to do speed module. That's why I was doing this. Now I remember. Um, so let's make this, uh, perhaps water ice. That's not, there we go just because I think it's probably a lot more efficient to send it up that way. And silicon, it's kind of a similar shape and color. We'll put it next door. Um, we will need to... I guess that eliminates the chance of using a combinator to switch these off, unless I just, you know, right click here. Until we're ready. Let's add vanilla train. What to ice? We've only got one pickup. And this is it here. I need to add a decider combinator for the train limit. As if we ever aren't saturated with water ice. Let's get our train over here. Come to think of it, if we're always doing the vanilla train pickup to go through the space elevator as a higher priority, maybe it's actually not a problem. Like, maybe I've been wasting my time. Uh, maybe we don't need these decider combinators, and it's not actually a problem to have a vanilla train sitting here, waiting until it's full before it leaves. But I kind of like this better. I don't love the idea of trains just sitting at the pickup indefinitely. Especially in combination with LTN, even if there's technically nothing wrong with it. Uh, if water ice is greater than 16k... Ah, 
Oh, it's not saturated, but it's so full. Once again, that's the last thing that I ever expect to see. Maybe it's just because we had a couple of trains pick this up recently? Um, but I will actually... Because this was before I realized how severe the imbalance can get with this setup. With the invisible inserters picking up from the delivery cannon chest. Uh, I'll just limit these two and we'll read from here as well. Uh, for LTN we'll say that all three have to be full. We can allow a short train to pick it up, that won't imbalance it. And if we've got 40 stacks of stuff here, Vanilla Train can come and pick it up. Set train limit to water ice. And that should be fine. Is this the Crynite planet? It is indeed. Egan is our main base. Um... We don't have to worry about the vanilla train. This is one uh, combined station that we can use with vanilla trains. If it's offering one solid and one fluid, it's impossible for it to pick up the wrong resource. All right, let's empty here and full cargo here and off we go. That should work just fine. And what to ice is going over here. And silicon is going to be next. Let's get a new train. Silicon and silicon, empty cargo, full cargo, and remove this one, and that should be all it takes. Let's let it get a little bit more fuel. Actually, it's fine, because it'll it frequently goes to a depot that refuels it. Fantastic. Let's see how our water ice is doing. Oh, this would probably help if I put that back. Pretty sure these two are good to go. Uh, I don't see a train moving, though. So where's our, our water ice train? Uh, good question. Is it in space now? No? Yes. Yes, it is. It's saying destination full. Oh, I think I know the answer. No? If anything equals zero, it's true if there... It is false if there are no inputs. Why did I set this to anything? Change it to everything, and the train is on its way. That's actually a pretty good way to have it set up so that it won't work at first, in case I'm messing around with the station names or something. Um, I think I'll leave it as it is. We can also very quickly see... If it's green, it means it's still available. And silicon arrived at about the same time. Beautiful. Uh, these things are getting knocked off pretty quickly now. We need speed module. Uh, let's do speed module and rough data storage substrate next to each other. They're both just needed for science, basically. Actually, rough data goes into blank cards, which is used in a lot of places, even if it's all science. Um, I kind of want to group these things together in a way that sort of makes sense. Uh, I guess we have to bite the bullet sometime. Alright, 
let's just put speed module here. Speed module tier one. Oh, I should name these stations as well. Silicon provider. Fantastic. Water ice provider. And this one right here is going to be a tier one speed module provider. Okay. Tier one speed module pickup is here. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I think a splitter might have been better there. Um, let's just do it this way. I think I'll allow as much as we like into the first one. And we'll set the provide threshold a bit higher. Um, and that'll prevent trains from having trouble. Okay. Provide threshold. One and a half train loads should probably be okay. Uh, and we need to do a vanilla. Yeah, yeah, this should be set to a couple of train loads. LTN. I don't see LTN taking this anywhere though, actually. Since the speed ones are going straight to space. Whatever. Let's get a decider combinator in the usual spot. Let me just check. Efficiency... Efficiency one modules go into science in the same way that speed ones do, or similar. Uh, production, tier one. Yeah, all three of them do. So I actually need to do these three. Let's get our construction train to pay those a visit. And I guess we're gonna do... Well... I kind of want to put the three of them together now, so we'll put them down here. So this is tier one speed. Tier one rod. And tier one efficiency. About to head off to my cryo planet, also called Hagen, indeed. I think there's well, I wanted to say I think there's always a Hagen uh, in uh, in this location in the first in the first solar system, but I've seen some stuff that challenged my assumptions about the uh, the map generation. But both playthroughs for space exploration, I've had a cryo planet here called Hagen. I like the sound of bots crashing. Um, to to each their own. I, I, how could you? All right, so that's those three. Um, let's update the station names as well. Speed. Rod. Oops. And efficiency. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can 100% say that is not the case? I got no Hagen. My cryo planet fittingly is named Cryonia. <laughs> Very imaginative. I'm terrible at making up names, but but that's just why is this flashing with no 
how I... Oh, we haven't put a... Oh, no. Um... Oh, our construction train is going in circles because I forgot about this. Oh, no. What a waste. Now I have to wait for it. Um, but yeah, I need to go over here and update slash finish this build over here. Missed a couple of spots. Where's that blueprint? Here we go. I should really name it properly. Um, pylon substation... Whatever. That's it. It's literally it. Apparently the XY offset is 1. Yeah, well, as long as it places in the right spot. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, we've already fixed it. Let's get rid of the old substations. Construction train is ready. Let's park it right about here and wait indefinitely. Okay. Uh, I need to make some vanilla trains. How many have we got? I think this depot, unless we do something very wrong, this one depot should be more than enough for all of the trains that are going to be stuck on this side. Um, because they're all for resources that we've run out of, basically. You don't need scaffold for pylons? Indeed you do not. Very handy. Uh, let's grab that little blueprint. One's already done. And get rid of these weird little... Why can't I remove this bit of scaffolding? What the hell? That's really strange. Uh, you know what? I think I would have wanted it back this far anyway, just for the look of it. Or that's probably what I would have done in the first place. If that's what I wanted, actually. It does look a little bit weird. The way it sticks out one way and not the other, though. So I think I like this better. Also, may as well fill in that gap. That looks a bit tidier. Anyway, back to this build, in which we did do that. Uh, there's actually nothing to add here. We just need to do our trains. Alright, so... Uh, speed module, let's go. Uh, wait until empty, wait until full, and off you go. That's it. Once more. Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, I was going to update these. fine for now, obviously. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, mistakes were made. Research is still stopped. Something wrong? Uh, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. We're not researching anything that I desperately need right now. Um, I'm just letting it run while we build. I don't know why it stopped, though. If it is stopped. 
Um, probably, I was going to say probably electromagnetic field data. Are we out of copper? Uh, yes, yes we are. We do have 19,000 copper here. Um, that I could probably just smelt. I think we need a thermodynamics facility. Anyway, more importantly, I want to fix the train that I sent to the wrong station. Up we go. And... Okay, we haven't made that many more speed modules. That's kind of good. Uh, could you please go manual and just park yourself down here? Put those back. And I'll shove the rest back in here. Okay. Uh, this is the wrong pickup station. Could you please instead go to this pickup station? And that was a thousand percent my fault. Now then, since we're here, stack size 50, we're setting this to 6000. Speed module 1. If speed module 1 greater than output input count. And this one is set to train limit speed module. Okay, plastic. And then we'll just change the symbols for these ones. Rod one. Efficiency one. And set train limit rod one. Set train limit efficiency one. And now we can actually make our trains. Uh, for production one, let's not get it wrong this time. Wait for empty, wait for full. Off you go. And one more of these. And we've got all of our tier one modules in space. Yatuwatu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Efficiency one, efficiency one, not three. And this goes up here. Wait for empty, wait for full. Off you go, and that should be it. I don't see any... Oh right, I forgot. Change that to everything. And there should be a train on the way. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, that should probably be limited to 40 stacks. Whoops. Well, it'll sort itself out. Might take a few more deliveries. Like, uh... Four or five more train deliveries for this to saturate. For those two... Resource. I'm not worried about the ice. That's the ice didn't even fill up yet. Actually, uh, we did send an awful lot of extra silicon. Uh, but yeah, that's looking good. Did I set these up the same way? I did. Fantastic. Let's go to space.
Wouldn't you just love to hop on the train to get into space? Orbital ring when? We go. And then we go deliver. It's actually full already. Uh what? I feel something is wrong here. Oh. Wait, how did... Oh, no. This one's just off-cent... Oh. Oh, no. That means our blueprint is off as well. Um... Is it literally just the one? I think it is. Okay, um... Let me just turn this one off for the moment. Empty this. Let's have a look at our blueprint. Uh, pressing the wrong buttons. Control E, there we go. And yes, it's wrong. This goes here. And that's all we need to change. But I do need to create the blueprint from scratch because we've got a bunch of bulk rail loaders. Got a side on. Spell evader, big storage, and snap to grid. And that's it. Seems good. Fantastic. At least it was only the one that was off. And we really didn't have to change much to fix it. And that should be... Uh, red, if it's going to be working. Much better. Okay. Nice. Let's put our icons here. Speed one. Ooh, I like the extra detail on that. Uh, prod one. And efficiency. One. Uh, and what else are we bringing to space? No more speeds. Uh, we got six of these that we need to do eventually. I'm not worried yet, though. Uh, we need to do another ingot block. Other than that, we've got... Do we not have to bring Uranium-235 up here? Yeah, we do. I haven't been doing cover X in space. No. So we should put the 235 and 238 together, I think. Let's do... 235... Two thirty-eight. Speaking of which, I haven't checked in on our updated cover X for a while. Uh, two thirty-five is almost totally saturated. Two thirty-eight. 
there's almost nothing available. I thought I set it up so that... Okay, we do have 238 here. Coverex is happening. And here it is. It's actually blocked. Uh, I did limit the output so that... Oh, we're only check... Oh, no, no, there's a red wire here as well. Just can't see it. Um... So, if there's... We only output from CoverX once it's saturated, which it has been for a long time. Uh, I guess it's not totally saturated. Yeah, I guess... I guess it takes a lot to saturate this. So this wasn't best, I mean, we knew this, but this wasn't the best place to do the decision making. We're not outputting from CoverX um, 235 until we've got more 238 than 235. But as much as I love this layout, uh, overall this build really isn't cutting it for making sure we have some 235 available. That's the only problem with it. It will eventually get there, but uh, it needs to <laughs> it needs to fill up a few more chests full of 235 mostly. Ends Maxine, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but that said, we could at least set these up here. I think tomorrow I'll redesign CoverX. Well, not just CoverX. I want to combine all of the processing and CoverX in one block so we can do a bunch of decision making without taking our 238 into the rail block just to supply this. Um, but that said, let's go with 235 over here, 238 over here, and station names are accurate, except for these ones. Seems good. Um, I guess it's a little bit of a waste of time. Not much of one. If I set up the decider combinators down here. Where's our construction train? Decider, Combinator, right about there, and there, and there, and I'm not worried about the stone. Set train limit to 235. If 235 greater than... Was it stacked to? 100. 12k? Output. And set train limit. Fantastic. Same thing over here. Two thirty. Wait, not 325. There we go. And then exact same logic because the stack size is the same. 238. Uh, 238. And... 
set train limit 238. Uh, and last but not least, we need to make sure LTN doesn't steal the stuff until the vanilla trains are satisfied. We'll also allow short trains. Um, this one's rather slow, I think. Since we've got this layout, I'll set it to 120 stacks. Wait, isn't 12k 120 stacks? It is. I'll just set this one to 8k. Because we don't have to worry about the this pushing to here with the belts that we don't have. Alright, but provide stack threshold is all three containers need to be full for LTN. Short trains are allowed. Don't know why we would bother with a short train for uranium, but we can't. This is the more closer to the modern way of doing it. Don't have to change anything there except provide stack threshold 160. Uh, and then we need a couple of vanilla trains. Number one. King Fnerb. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This one will be for 235. We'll at least get to see that working. Ironically, we have way more 235 than 238 these days. Empty cargo up there. Fill cargo down here. Get rid of that extra station. And go. Oh, and it's picking up... It's actually almost a train load of 238 here. Did I set this? I did not. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Oh, because it doesn't have a train limit. Okay, how about you go to the depot while I fix this? this to here, set train limit to 235, um, limit this to keep it balanced, let's get rid of that actually, if 235 is greater than 4k, for 235 train limit. That looks good. Train limit should be zero. Fantastic. This one is picking up from the correct station now, or a correct station. I don't think there's any 235 here though. Yeah, there's hardly any, as expected. Okay, that should find its way to space with no further issues, probably. Let's have a look. Here comes our train. And it should immediately drop off down here. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's the base going? Quite well, I think. For the most part, this should be everything if we want it to work. And here comes our train. Yeah, it's going quite well. We've got all of these resources um, being brought up by vanilla trains through the spell elevator. Those copper ingots look 
like one pixel too low and it's actually really makes it look wonky. Let's put this about here. That's better. Uh, but yeah, we've got ingots that are on the spot converted to plate as well. You can pick up either with LTN. We've got fluids. We've got solids. Uh, and we've got substation pylons with lights in them even. So we got a nice, clean uh, power system. And we'll definitely be converting the few old uh, power poles that we built. Amazing, indeed. Thank you. So basically what I did uh, to solve the LTN elevator problem is we've got... Um, we've got a depot for vanilla trains on either side of the space elevator. It doesn't look like we're ever going to need more than one on the crown side. They only end up... The, the trains only end up accumulating at the ground side when we actually don't have enough uh, to satisfy upstairs. Apparently heavy oil is still asking if there's less than 100k. Yeah, there's a little bit less than 100k. There's tons of heavy oil here. Oh, did I leave that one switched off? Yeah, I did. That's why. While I was copy-pasting and changing to make the others. Um, but yeah, uh, we only end up with trains parking themselves here if there's a resource shortage to take stuff upstairs. So currently it looks like all of our tier 1 modules have reached that stage. Um, basically they'll park themselves here and then look for a train stop with this name uh, in order to make LTN train stops work with vanilla trains at the same time. What I've done is we set a higher provide stack threshold. So there has to be two whole train loads of stuff here for LTN to schedule a pickup. And we've got a uh, train limit is set by if there's like a train load and a half, for example. Well, it depends on what we're doing with the balancing with these. That's why I've set it a little higher than one train load. Um, but basically, uh, basically there has to be, there's a smaller provide threshold for vanilla trains effectively than there is for LTN trains. Great idea, thank you. So we're basically just taking advantage of the fact that uh, LTN train stops double as vanilla train stops. And then the train goes up through the space elevator and basically mirrors what it did, uh, only different in space. So it goes straight to a depot uh, for a couple of reasons. And once it's chilled at the depot for a second, uh, if the train stop with this name, it's kind of like our LTN naming convention, only it's got a vanilla train stop after it. Uh, if there's a train limit greater than zero on this one, it's going to drop off. And we've just got this set up so that if there's... It, it gets pushed straight to the pickup station for LTN, and if there's any Uranium-235 left in here, uh, this stop is disabled. I could obviously set it so that we're not trying to accumulate quite so much in space, but I think I kind of like it this way. Uh, and one of the reasons, uh, the main reason uh, that we have them go to a depot, well, there's two reasons. We need them to park somewhere eventually if the resource is totally saturated, uh, and I didn't want them to park where the drop-off is necessarily, uh, especially with the different layout that I was working with before I changed it to this one, because the drop-off would have blocked the pickup. Uh, but also, 
if the train limit uh, is only one... Well, this is slightly an aside, but if the train limit for the train... Uh, if the train coming up through the elevator is trying to go to a stop that has a train limit of only one, I think it's because the train gets cut in two uh, as it goes through the surfaces... Uh, it'll basically just keep stuttering for a little bit before it comes out. So we need it to have a target as it comes out of the space elevator that is always available. Uh, and we do that with um, just having a bunch of basically depot stops. There's a base maintenance cost and then it goes up by the amount of trains, yes. The maintenance cost is determined by the size of the planet, plus the amount of trains going through it. Yep, you can see it right here. Uh, with our test uh, save that was on a simulated Nalvis, it cost over a thousand parts to get the elevator started. Uh, and it was like four parts per minute for basic maintenance. Um, that is with a radius around 5700. Uh, our planet, Hagen, only has a radius of 3,800, so it only costs like 3.2 something tables per minute to keep this running. Uh, and it also costs additionally less than a fifth when the trains are going down, and that's if they're full. I guess it actually just costs, cause, because I'm only sending things up at the moment... When a train comes down, it costs literally 0 0.0005 cables. Because um, it's always empty. But if it was full, uh, it would cost a bit less than one-fifth of what it costs when it's going up. Uh, 0.0027 times 5 for the minimum cost plus the number of item stacks. Does it cost more to send four full trains 121 compared to sending one a single 181? Yes. Yes, it does. But it's not that big of a deal. Um, basically, with two cargo wagons, we're looking at 80 stacks. Um, so we're looking at 85 times 0027. Um, so if we multiply that by, say, four, we're looking at less than one cable, 0.92, whereas if we sent one train with four times the cargo wagons, uh, it would be 40 times uh, eight, uh, 325, uh, 40 times eight plus five times 0.0027, uh, it would be we're looking at 0 0.92 cables versus 0 0.88 cables. Uh, if the trains had four times as many cargo wagons, it's uh, it's even less, like it's significantly less than I thought it was actually. Yeah, the difference really is minimal. That that scale of difference was much smaller than I expected. All right, um, that's a pretty great spot to leave off for today, I think. Uh, can I get in? I need to stop jetpacking. There we go. Uh, tomorrow, I definitely want to redo my uranium processing so that we can have nope. processing and coverex in the same block and we can have some better decision making so that we still have 238 available. Um, and we'll keep it balanced with 235. Although that said, um, our copious amounts of 235 are running out pretty quick since I started sending them upstairs. It's only because we've got a lot of storage up here. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for today. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Oofnix. Another Sunday on a Sunday? What? Uh, we raided JD yesterday, I believe. Give an Immo a few raids. 
We got a speed run. Is anyone doing SEK2? Immo is SE. Uh, I think that's going to be the only option if you want to watch space exploration. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate you dropping by. Um, yeah, I think we'll go f for Immo. Hofnix used to stream on Sundays only. Okay. But then he streamed on other days and people made fun. Wow. Rude. Yeah, we got some... We got some something that I can't really tell what it is. We got some Mega Base. Uh, Diablo is always cool. I don't know. I feel like if you guys are watching space exploration, you probably want more of that, right? Even has an emote for it. Like, uh, like how Damsel has an emote for an owl exploding. Just embracing the bullying. I see how it is. Trying to, trying to play it off. Trying to, trying to downplay it. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, till tomorrow. And after that, actually, stay safe. Take care, guys. Thanks, Veldek. Midden and everyone else. Thanks for hanging out. Oh my god.